And good evening, boys and girls. Do you know what? I'm so confused. I'm hoping this is working. <laughs> uh, can we just have a thumbs up to let me know that you can hear me? But I've just literally come out of the my Discord video and I've had to very quickly set up for this. Uh, so <laughs> I'm hoping that everything's done right. Normally I've done this half an hour ago, but I can't. So hopefully we are good. Just someone give me a thumbs up to make sure that you can hear me in the chat. Uh, I think yeah cheers trevor thank you right let's um let's do that let's do that uh let's do that i'm really confused i feel like i've forgotten something look look what they've done look what they've done ready look at that we could go with christmas and we've got this one as well what's that look at that we could go all festive i might do this next week i don't think it, as, as cool as that looks i think that's probably better for next week than it is this week <laughs> there's one more here as well what's that Oh, look, hang on. Is that a hat? Or is that a spaceship? I think it's a spaceship, isn't it? <laughs> right, uh, less of that. Let's put that one on. There we go. Let's go to the chat. Let's say hello to everyone. So uh, who's in the chit chat? Uh, Claire, we've just spoken. She was in the Discord. Al Ho, Ross, we've just spoken. Trevor, we've just spoken. Uh, Scott, Mark, uh, Andy B, uh, who else in there? Host, that's me. Hello, host. Amber P, hello, Amber. Uh, Kevin, pretty. Pretty's back. Pretty's alive. Hey, pretty. How are you? Uh, Neil, hi to everyone. Just been talking nice. I'm surprised that got through the old uh, spam filter, uh, Neil, but well done. <laughs> uh, elevator Xmas tune. I can't, I couldn't hear what it was. That's why I asked whether there was any Christmas tunes. Brilliant. Uh, Liam. Hello, Liam. How long watching this until I need to make myself a drink? I reckon it'll be less than five minutes. Uh, Liam, get yourself a drink now. Like literally now, now, now. Uh, Paul. Hey, Paul. Nice to see you all here. Uh, despite what Boris Johnson is probably saying at this precise moment, we don't really care. He's not going to lock us down. So who cares? We, we're going up to alert level four. So uh, God knows what's happening. No doubt someone can fill me in afterwards. I've got BBC flashes and God knows what going on in there. So tonight, uh, what we, uh, we, the Royal We, what uh, tr what Trevor has ordered us do tonight <laughs> is make some gin cocktails better with rum. So that's what we're in store for tonight. Uh, I've got a few, I've got the office gin cocktails written down here. Um, so I'm just going to systematically work through them. But if anyone's got any gin cocktails uh, that they kind of would like to see made better with uh, rum, then let me know in the comments uh, and we should do that. But the ones ones we're going to start off with is like the obvious ones. Let's say we're going to do a gin and tonic because I've got a couple of little riffs for you for gin and tonics. People think, oh, rum and tonic. Yeah, we've got a couple of rums. Some of you know what one of them is coming, uh, definitely. But some work. Uh, we could do Collins, the Bramble. Uh, and then the other two I've got down here is the Bees Knees and the Clover Club. Uh, so they're kind of what we'll work through. Uh, so we're just basically going to see. It's not a see. There's no experiments. Of course, these cocktails are going to taste 100 times better with rum than they ever did with gin. It's just a fact, isn't it? Of course it is. So uh, that's what's in store for you tonight. Loads more people coming through. Uh, Amber, what well, I was on another tab with this page open behind and wondering where the music was coming from. Oh, Amber, it's Christmas. Well, it just literally popped up. It's like Christmas music. I can even do New Year's Eve music. I don't know what's going on there. I might, hang on a minute. I might be able to do that. Can I change it? No, I can't. Oh, that's a bit dull. I have to reshare it. I can't do that. Hey, Pat. Uh, Salah. Oh, I can't even say that. Let's put you on screen because I can't flip and say that. Salah. Salah Adin. Mar yeah, that. Hello, my friends. Hello from Brazil. Um, we will. Someone asked me. I don't know whether that was you. I don't think it was you because I don't recognize the name. Someone asked me to do a Cachaça week. So I might do a Cachaça week in the new year. That'll be fun. Uh, Laura, hey Laura, uh, back to the reins from those gin loving girls. Yeah, all the gin loving girls are watching Boris at the moment and they come back and report. So, uh, without further ado, what have I got to tell you? I don't think I've got anything to tell you this week. It's just, it's just thrown me being in live in the Discord for like half an hour or so. So, whatever I had in my little head is completely gone out through that and out that one. So, I don't know, but I've, to start off with, hey James, James at the Pipe Shack, nice. James, I've got a green and a red um, shirt on off. Not for YouTube. Uh, I'm not going to wear them on you. I've got I've got some other things in the pipeline, but I've got a lot of green. It looks a bit different to yours. So don't worry, I'm not coming on your turf. Uh, but I've got a red one as well. I can't, I, I'm thinking red might kind of 
go a bit behind there. Uh, for those of you who ain't got a clue what I'm talking about, go and check out James from the Five Shack his YouTube channel. He's got a little, he's got his little bar outside, but he's green, isn't he? He's green, whereas I'm blue, so I might go red. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Salah, I've got to try and name your, try and nail your name. Salah Adin Mubarak. Salah Adin Mubarak. It's obviously a gaming name, isn't it? It's got to be a gamer. You've got to be a gamer, haven't you? Got to be a gamer. Uh, welcome anytime, buddy. Right. Uh, so first things first. I'm not sure I want to do big cocktails for this because we've got quite a few to go through. So I'm going to do little tidbits. But the humble gin and tonic is terrible. It's a, it's the world's worst drink. The gin and tonic. Uh, it's just gin, which no one really likes because it's got flipping juniper berries in it. Well, some gins have got juniper in them. Others have just claim to have juniper in them. Uh, and then tonic. And no one really likes tonic, do they? So the gin and tonic is the world. I'm just going to rinse gin people tonight. Uh, so, but what I've got, Windy. Have I seen Windy? Is Windy here? Gone upstairs. Bojo is boring. Windy. Windy, if you're in, I'm sure I've seen you somewhere. Windy. Windy, Windy, Windy. Is Windy here? Hello, Windy. Earth to Windy. I can't see Windy. I'm, I'll wait for this one then. Windy, if you're here, just give me a thumbs up because this one, I was going to start off with this one, especially for you. But I'll start off with a different one if you're not here. Uh, so the first gin and tonic that is obviously going to be made better by rum is this little bad boy. Uh, yeah, Windy's here. There we go. We'll do Windy first. So we've got the um, plantation, um, Isle of Fiji. Now, uh, Nick, who, uh, who kind of looks after plantation in the UK, identity brands, uh, kind of said, do you know what, try that with tonic. I was like, no, 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 you're having a giraffe, aren't you? And he was like, no, honestly, it's gorgeous. So I did a bit of that with um, some Mediterranean tonic. And it's really nice, rum and tonic. Really, really nice. Really like it. Obviously, Mediterranean tonic. Don't want any of that sort of um, uh, Indian tonic malarkey. That's, that's just a bit wrong, Indian tonic. Hey, Carl. Uh, Al ho, Al ho. Hey, Al ho. Oh ho, oh ho, it's off to rum we go. Right, so obviously rum, for those of you thinking rum and tonic doesn't work, it does. It's really nice. That, that is gorgeous. That plantation, Isla Fiji, with Mediterranean tonic is stunning. It's a really, really good simple mixer. I haven't actually tried it with another rum. I don't know. Someone, first one in the comments. I've got Mediterranean tonic here. I told you this show is just going to be totally interactive. You know, I've got the cocktails down here, but just going to, it's just going to go totally interactive. So the first one to comment, you can all see the rums I've got behind me. Uh, the first one to comment, give me a brand of rum. That's the next rum and tonic, and I've got to, I'm going to try before I get to Wendy's. So hit me up uh, with a rum. Hello, hey Kay. I don't know what the delay is here. Um, it might, but it shouldn't be too long. But hopefully, if it's like a 15 second delay, then I'll, I'll feel. But I'm, I'm pretty much reliant. Right, Eldoro, passes, 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 passes. Right. I'm going to go, I'm going to go for um, the blue. Passes blue. So I don't want to kill myself too early on the, um, the, over the um, gunpowder proof, do I? There we go. And to be fair, who else? Someone said Eldorado, didn't they? Trevor said Eldorado. To be fair, uh, Pusses is DDL as well. That's where the rums sort of come from. So we've kind of got that Demerara kind of base thing going on there. So does rum and Mediterranean, does proper rum, it's like a Demerara kind of rum, work with Mediterranean tonic? I'm not sure I should put a lime in this. I'm going to try it without. Hang on. I've not done that. Let's, uh, hang on. Let's whack a lime in half. In the interests of science, don't want a full lime. Like a little, little, little squeeze of lime in there with the plantation Fiji. Oh, that's interesting. I think I prefer it without the lime, actually. Right, so pusses. Pusses, pusses, pusses. Pusses and tonic. This is surely not, surely. Oh, do you know what? I kind of like that. It's very different to the plantation Isle of Fiji. Very, very different. Um, I do actually like that. You still, you get weirdly, you get the kind of like the caramel notes coming through and the toasty sort of oak notes. That's really good. You do get some kind of oaky gins as well. So that's, you know, 
That's that. Just squeeze a little bit of lime in there as well. Hey guys, how are you? Oh, that's better actually. Oh, that. Oh, that's interesting. The Fiji one without lime. The pus is one with lime. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Science, isn't it? It's all about science tonight. Right, Windy. Windy said to me the other day, sharp phone. Um, Windy said to me the other day, he said, I bet you can't, when, we, when I was sort of discussing what we were going to do, he was going to do like cucumber, because cucumber obviously goes in a lot of sort of gin and tonics like Hendrix and things like that. Uh, but then obviously cucumber is the garnish. Windy, I don't know if you've ever seen this. I might come, I might treat you. I might do a little close up. Can we see that? You see that, look? Cucumber and watermelon, double Dutch. Now I have, I don't think I've ever done this with rum. So this could be kind of interesting. Windy, you get the choice of rum right here. I potentially would go white rum. So Windy, this is all on you. We're going plantation. We've got Veritas. I'm, I would go Veritas personally. I've got Lost Years Overproof and you got all. Oh, you got, that's not out yet, is it? That's this Thursday, Lost Years. Actually, ignore that because you won't know about that. Uh, what else? Florida Carnia. And I won't do Kube because Kube I'm filming this week as well. So, Dorleys, there's a shout. Do Fever Tree do? I think Fever Tree do do a cucumber tonic, don't they? I don't know, to be honest. They did do. I know 100% they did do. Whether it's still a thing or not, I don't actually know. Um, Duppy White Jamaican. Okay. No, I've, I've not tried to Duppy White. Uh, Mark's gone Dorleys. Let's go Dorleys, wherever that is. Mark SH. Is it Mark? Yeah, Mark SH. He's gone Dorleys. So let's go Dorleys uh, with cucumber tonic. I mean, it might go with uh, sort of an aged white rum. My head was just going, um, or a, a, an oak, an oak aged white rum, I should say. To be, to be fair, that's a bit stupid because a lot of these are oak aged as well. They've just been charcoal filtered to get rid of the colour. So we're going for Dorleys, three year old, a Bayesian, Barbados white rum with a little bit of cucumber tonic. Cucumber and watermelon tonic. Rachel is shouting at the TV like she's on a video call. It's Boris, what's Boris done? Is Boris locking us down? What's he done? <laughs> Rachel, calm down. Right, uh, Dolly's, uh, Dolly's three-year-old and uh, the, uh, Double Dutch's cucumber and watermelon. This is not actually a tonic, I have to add. I'm really sorry. It is actually a mixer. Uh, not a tonic water, but we kind of class it as a tonic. It's just basically no quinine in there, uh, but we kind of do class it as a tonic water, sort of. But, you know, Fever Tree is a tonic water. It's just whether it's still a thing. I know 100% it was a thing. I don't know whether it still is a thing. Trevor Rose. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Trevor Rose wants me to go agricole. Let's go agricole. Agricole rum and tonic. I completely forgot about that because I was going to Veritas. But let's do let's do the whole agricole. Oh, Windy, look away now, Windy. Cover your eyes. Cover your eyes. Windy loves this stuff. It's his favourite rum, agricole. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's thrown up into his mouth as we speak. Right, so bit of agricole. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this. Oh, I'm not loving the smell. <laughs> right, okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. That is actually really nice. Get past the smell. I really don't like the smell. It's, what's it smell? Why, it reminds me of... Um, <laughs> I'm not going to say it. I've just realised what it reminds me of. I'm not going to say it. That's actually really nice. Get past the smell. Don't don't smell it. Just drink it. That is gorgeous. That Oh, that might be my favourite. Yeah. It's better than the Barbados. It's better than the Dorleys. Right, there's a question there somewhere. Uh, Boris is inviting us to his Christmas party. <laughs> was it not a quiz night or something like that, was it? <laughs> Boosters made available to all over 18. No lockdown this year. It, well, it was never going to be a lockdown because it's, you know, of course it wasn't. Um, 
stay at home or whatever. I don't know. We'll, we'll catch up. Uh, question. If you only had, right, here we go. If you only had £30 and could only buy one rum, which would it be, Steve? Oh, we had this kind of, well, a kind of loose, a loose kind of point of this a couple of weeks ago. I think, so, Gaz, I'm going to give you two answers here, Gaz, because, uh, just because I am, <laughs> I don't want to commit. <laughs> right. If I was going to have two, right, that I could, would have to drink, they would be the, so I'm going to, what I'm basically going to do is a spiced rum and a rum. And they're the only ones that I could drink for a whole year or for a month. I couldn't have anything else. So spiced rum wise, I can't be asked to get that one out there, but I'll get the new bottle out. Spiced rum wise, I would go two swallows. Uh, because it's, uh, the only thing that puts me off about the gunpowder spiced is it's stronger. So if I, I, I can't I can't have that as a session drink. So it's got to be it got to be that. Um, so two swallows, salted caramel and citrus spice rum, hands down uh, for that. For a proper out and out rum, an all rounder, an all rounder that I've got to sip neat and have drinks with, uh, mixers with, I potentially would. Do you know what? This is going to be really really controversial. So it's a mixing rum and a rum that I'm going to sip neat. This is going to be really, really controversial. I'm going for plantations, Guatemala and Belize. Gran Añejo. Really, really controversial. I've not featured it that much. Lovely, jubbly. Uh, that is what I would potentially go for because as much as I love the XO, it's a bit of a waste mixing it uh, and it might blow your £30 budget, to be fair. Um, that the grand the grand grand añejo is awesome for like rum drinking neat and rum fashions. It's awesome as a base for cocktails, rum and cokes, rum and gingers. Um, so yeah, I potentially would go that grand añejo. Um, because after a while, you might get a bit sort of kind of a, a little. What's the word? You might. You might get a bit kind of, oh, with like the Jamaican stuff, the funk and all that. You just kind of want a, a, just a session rum. That's what's putting me off the like the kind of Jamaicans and all that sort of stuff. There is a caveat. And the reason why I haven't said it yet is because I haven't featured it. I'm filming it next week uh, for the rum show. But actually, one of my uh, favorite, favorite rums, as you can kind of tell from that, is uh, Ron Kube's, um, uh, Car uh, uh Añejo Suave. It's a sherry-based, sherry-aged rum. And I absolutely flipping love it. Uh, the only reason, as I say, I haven't picked it is because I haven't really covered it yet. I haven't really told anyone too much about it. Um, but that will be filmed. And that's actually going to be on the 30th, maybe, of December. We're doing the wrong Cubes. Cuban rums, like proper authentic Cuban rums. Because they've got the whole Cuban badge on, which means it's from Cuba. Uh, to be fair, like the Havanas have got. So they've got they've got the whole Cuban bear. So proper authentic Cuban rum, just sherry cask, um, and I do love that suave. Really, really love that. But I love that rum agricole. So yeah, I hope that answers that one. Uh, Appleton twelve. Oh yeah, Trevor's put it there. That's that's what I mean. I would, I think I would potentially get a little bit bored of the the funk. I kind of just want something mellow, just to kind of session on. Um, that's 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 where in my head. Yeah, Kevin's gone rock star. Uh, thanks, gonna stick it, stick the plantation on my Santa list. Yeah, it's just um, hide. It's just an all rounder for me. It's not the best rum up there I've got by a long, long way. There are way better rums up there, but for an out and out all rounder, so to drink neat and with coke and with ginger and with fruity stuff, I really do love the Gran Añejo. Uh, I really, really do. Some rums up here are brilliant with Coke, not so much in kind of cocktails, not so much neat. Uh, other rums are brilliant in cocktails, but again, not so much neat or you know, the other way around there. So yeah, that's that's where I go. I'm kind of, I'm happy with that. Right, so that's the, the gin and tonic. I've got loads of tonics here, um, but I think that's answered that debate. The gin and tonic is made 100% better uh, by rum. Of course it was. We, we, we obviously knew that was going to happen, didn't we? There's no, there's no air of mystery to that. <laughs> Sorry, gin lovers. <laughs> right. 
So next cocktail we are going to swiftly move on to is the Collins. I don't know which one's finished now. I might, um, which one? That one. Hmm. Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. Haven't seen you for a few weeks. Hope you're really busy down there. Uh, I bought a rum in Morrison's the other day called Duppy Share. It's really nice for 20 quid. This one, you mean? Duppy Share. And we've got Duppy Share spiced somewhere, he says. Is that spiced? No, it's the Duppy Share. God knows where the Duppy Share spiced is. It's around here somewhere. I don't know. But yeah, and Dappy Share have brought the white one out as someone's in here has already got it as well. But we've got that. It's, 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 it's a blend. Again, again, I haven't really gone into the depths of this. Yeah, we will do. We will have a little play with that. Um, so that's gone that. Uh, Trevor, for a gin cocktail riff, the Floridora. See, yeah, I haven't noted that, but that's definitely... Uh, can I... I can't highlight that. Can I, can I copy that? Block user from on YouTube. <laughs> no, I want to. I want to highlight that and add it to my little doodah. Uh, hang on, what's that do? Star. I've starred you. Pinned. But I've got a pinned message. Look at that. I can now pin messages. That's brilliant. Right. Okay. So hide that. I'll come back to that. Uh, uh, Trevor. Look at that. I didn't know I could pin messages now. God, it's modern technology is just getting better and better, isn't it? Um. Awesome. Right, Steve, like the rum Yoda teaching Padwans, rum Jedi. <laughs> I wouldn't quite go that far, but there we go. Uh, had just made an old Jay Morrison's cheap tonic. Surprisingly very nice. So old Jay as in spiced rum. Um, the, just the out and out normal spiced rum, as in the weaker version, as, as in the teenager version of that. <laughs> Obviously not the Tiki Vi. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, the, the, what, the kids, the Alco Pop version of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing, old Jay's great. Uh, right, uh, blocked from block to pinned. <laughs> Jonathan, yeah, been really busy, just done record sales. Wow, Jonathan down in Portsmouth. Look at this, let's give him a round of applause. Record sales 40k, but was off with COVID. Oh, okay, uh, glad to glad to see you're better. Right, yeah, not the tiki one, <laughs> works well. Right, let's move on to what we're doing, the, the Collins. So, the Collins is essentially gin lemon, sugar, and soda water. Uh, most of you kind of know that I don't really faff around with soda too much these days. I, I do kind of use um, Mediterranean tonic as my soda replacement. Uh, so I will go that purely because I forgot to get the tonic, uh, the soda water is just down there. Uh, so I might, I might treat you, I might shake this one up. So, so the Collins, again, I think this would potentially be a white rum cocktail, but I don't know. So uh, the first one to come out, who's that? Kevin. Kevin's got his little, uh, Captain Morgan, are you selling Captain Morgan's in your miniatures, Kevin? What are you doing that for? What are you doing? Why would you do that? Why, 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 why would you do that? Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Right, so the first one to comment with the brand, with the rum for this one, uh, that's what we're gonna pick. So in my head, I'm thinking white rum, but I don't know why, it could be any rum. So again, uh, what rums are we going for? Bearing in mind, I'm going to use lime juice and not lemon juice for this, but it's just essentially um, kind of gin, uh, rum, rum, sugar, lime, and uh, tonic or soda. Florida Kanye, four-year-old. Thanks, Ross. Right, so we will do this. We'll do this half measures, won't we? Do this half measures. So I'm going to do... So Collins is essentially a two-one half, kind of like you would do your daiquiri, essentially. Uh, so we know this is going to obviously work. So uh, two, two shots of rum, one shot of uh, citrus, half a shot of sugar. So we've done that. So that's my lime juice. I should have done that. I don't know. Am I, good shout Ross. Trevor, am I cheating by using lime juice? Should I be using lemon juice? Not that I've got any lemon juice prepped, but am I cheating? I don't know. I don't think I am because rum, you, well, yeah. Uh, sugar. sugar, 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 sugar. Pretty, what's the best gin that you'd recommend? Pretty, the best gin that I would recommend, uh, Veritas. That's the best gin that I would recommend. Try that one, that's awesome gin. Really, really good gin. Uh, I would also potentially do uh, Plantation Three Stars. That's a really good gin as well. Um, really fresh on the botanicals, you know, lovely sort of um, like sugary cane notes to that. Really, really nice, like vanilla notes as well. Really good gin, that one. Uh, what other gin would I recommend that I've got here? Um, I really love this this gin. This what this gin's got real sort of like caramel notes to it as well. Real kind of dialed back. In, <laughs> I can't keep that joke going on too much longer. 
<laughs> I committed to that as well, didn't I? I really committed. Right, let's let's go. Flipping gin. I, I only love gin on on when I'm filming and drink stuff. The other six days of the week, I don't love gin. <laughs> Flipping eight gin. It was really funny. Did you... Um, so this is another announcement kind of thing that I have. This is kind of what I was going to say, right? I've I've went a bit loopy. So, I, right, I need to apologise to loads and loads of people here because I did something really stupid uh, last, last Thursday, Friday. Not this week, the week before. I knew I was going to be away. So I scheduled, I just wanted to try, I've scheduled loads of posts on YouTube, on my community feed and Drink Stuff's community feed, right? Uh, I've, I've, on my, so my, for those of you who don't realise this, do you realise that if you go to my channel, there's a community feed where I can post polls and pictures and random GIFs, GIFs, whatever you want to call them. I can post loads of stuff there. So uh, most, a lot of YouTubers will do it. It's like our own personal Facebook, Instagram feed, whatever. So, but I was trying it out. My On my channel, I went daily. I just wanted to see the interaction I would get by going from daily. And then on the Drink Stuff channel, I went every other day just to kind of see the reach. Because if you go into analytics, you can see the reach of the impressions and all that sort of stuff. So I wanted to see whether I was getting more reach by going daily uh, or whether it would tail off by the end of the week or whether it was going every other day. But the apology is, it kind of kicks off a little bit I, I was literally at one point on Thursday, I literally had over 200 comments. Uh, and that's with all the videos that are kicking off as well uh, because of Christmas and all that. Obviously, people's views go up this time of year. So there's been a whole shed load of comments that I just haven't had time to filter back through yet and comment and thank and reply to and all that sort of stuff. So if you are one of the guys that have commented, I'm really, really, really sorry. It just went a bit nuts. Normally, I just have to deal with uh, video comments, but those posts. Uh, bearing in mind there was what, but so there must be 10, 11 posts that have gone up this week now between me and drink stuff. It's just gone nuts. So yes, I'm really, really sorry, but I promise I'll try and get to them um, soon, even if I just heart them and thank you. But yes. So if you don't know that, uh, go and check out the community feed because I've got a little, I've got a little plan uh, for my community feed and both community feeds uh, next year. I kind of want to put exclusive like cocktail recipes on there so kind of so for instance um you know when i do like the rum show for instance uh, and i do exclusive content for the members um i also kind of want to do like content that's out the simple serves simple mixes but there's nowhere to really fit them that don't really fit anywhere so i'm going to do them as posts or maybe gifs or something on my community feed um and on the drink stuff community feed but it'll work perfectly for drink stuff because when we do um, like three cocktails, I've just got George's here. I was filming that the other day. Uh, so when we've got like a hibiscus syrup, for instance, with YouTube, with videos, I could maybe do two cocktails in a week, maybe three. Um, but there's plenty more. You guys want more inspiration. Like take the ODK stuff. Most of you have seen the ODK pictures I was putting up on the, on uh, the community feed and now which which ODK flavors should, should do. Now, if I did a week, bear in mind, you've only got 52 weeks in a year. So... There's, there's a ton. Like Monin have got 150 odd flavors. ODK have got 25, maybe. George has got 60 plus of William Fox. You know, you're just not going to get through them. So, what I figure, what I'm going to plan to do is film maybe two uh, kind of videos. Say, take the hibiscus here, like two videos, two cocktails with this, but actually do very quick. Uh, post inspiration like cocktail recipes on the community feed. That's where my little head is at the moment. Whether that'll work or not, I don't know. Um, if anyone's got any other suggestions, I don't know. But uh, or, or let me know, I should say. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm going to do. So if you don't, check out my community feed, both and on the Drink Stuff channel as well. Uh, check them out, because Drink Stuff will be um, uh, general cocktail related. My stuff will be rum related. And I've just realised why I kind of went down that rabbit hole. The whole point was, the whole like waffling random on, I put up a poll on the Drink Stuff feed about, right, which spirit should I feature after Christmas or in the new year? And I put up rum, vodka, gin, and whiskey. Did I do tequila? I might have done tequila as well. I can't remember. But gin hardly got any votes whatsoever. No one likes gin. No one likes gin. Stands to reason, doesn't it, really? Right. So little, little, little Collins, I'm just going to match the rum with 
Actually, I'm going to go a little bit heavier on the tonic. There we go. So gin, uh, gin, rum, lime, sugar, soda, essentially tonic water. We're remaking a Collins. Uh, and I'm going to do a Collins. It would essentially be a tall. I've got plenty of ice. Plenty of ice. There we go. Get rid of that one. Uh, so th this is kind of like a gin Collins. You traditionally garnish it up with an orange. And see, I knew I should have done a, a smaller glass. There we go. That'll be all right. That'll do. Right. Does the Collins taste better with rum? Yeah, of course it does. Of course it does. Oh, that's really good. That is really good, actually. What did we? What rum did we use? Flawed Carnel. Oh, that's really good. Vanilla. Cheers. I tell you, I'm cheating a little bit with Mediterranean tonic as opposed to soda water. But, you know, you would naturally associate that with uh, gin, to be fair. You know, you wouldn't really put that with, um, with rum. That's flipping tasty. I would love to get a gin person, right? I would love to get an out and out gin fanatic, serve them up that and see what they said without telling them. I would love to do that. Mm, don't like rum, don't like rum. Try that. Best gin you'll ever have. Vin kind of vanilla forward gin. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Right. Uh, lots of comments here because I've been waffling on for a... <laughs> Listen to that rant. I went in rant mode, didn't I? How long was I in rant mode for? Quite a while. Uh, the, the rumbling. Rumbling is great, Jin. Yes. <laughs> Jaffa cake. Rumbling. Right. Don't listen. I'll be a pretty. Play out Pompey. Pompey? Not Pompey. Plymouth. <laughs> Try Plymouth. Plymouth. Yeah. But then Plymouth Jin's not Juniper 4, is it? So, you know, it's kind of. Barman needs an assistant. He does. Right. Steve needs a gin thread on his Discord. We've got a gin thread. It's called Let's Talk Bollocks. <laughs> that, is, that is where it is. <laughs> uh, right. I'm pretty enough. Right. I To be fair, Kay, I've got three bottles of Bo Brockman's gin up there. Uh, two of them were donated, <laughs> but I have got three bottles of Brockman's. So that, you know, it's a pretty decent gin. Uh, we'll say that. Guess you could always view your old videos and see how it goes swapping up the syrup brands to the best of the original. 90% of sales on the market store was rum. Really? So you, oh, hang on. I hadn't even, so I hadn't even contemplated this. You, I just, I knew you were doing your, um, the hampers, the rum hampers. I hadn't even contemplated you were still doing gin. That's really interesting. Wow. So the gins, was that all the Whitley Neal stuff? And um, I know, you, did you get Warners as well? I'm sure you got min, you got miniatures from somewhere. Lake, Lake District, was it? That's really interesting. Uh, John. Hey, John. Am I the only one here that likes gin? I have 60 now. To be fair, John, I have probably got... I've probably got a hundred gins down here. To be fair, give or take. Let's let's do, let's do a quick maths. One, two, three. So about five deep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five deep by nine. I have fifty. I reckon there's probably probably about seventy seventy gins here. Sixty to seventy gins here. Yeah, flipping eight. <laughs> if anyone wants any gin, because I used to do gin tasting nights. That's why I've got them. They're all half bottles and stuff like that. Just loads of gin tasting nights. So we've done that. Uh, well, see, here we go. Here we go. Right. I like gin in a Negroni style cocktail. So um, have you tried a rum Negroni? Because rum in a Negroni is amazing. Really, really good. Again, it makes the Negroni taste better because it's rum. It's just that thing. <laughs> uh, Laura's going, what are you going to try on Wednesday? We might be, are we not locked down? Have I got to come in on Wednesday? <laughs> oh, obviously, Ra Rachel's still here. Rachel's not sort of committed herself. So I'm, I'm assuming we're, we're all in the clear. Uncle Pete. Hello, Uncle Pete. How are you? 
Uh, Whitney Neal mainly, uh, so what's this? Whitney Neal mainly struggled to get the company's miniatures at a good price. Yeah, fair dues. Uh, Uncle Pete. I only keep six to eight around. Oh, no. You can see all these imposters coming in now on this channel, these gin lovers. Oh, Mrs. Got About 60. So, Neil, you're just going to have to convert her into rum now, aren't you? Geordies of Broadies. Hello, Geordies of Broadies. Uh, I've been trying the guava cocktails you did. Oh, guava with strawberry. Which one was that? Strawberry puree. Guava, uh, ribcon guava, strawberry puree. And was that spice rum? Can't remember what rum that was now. Yeah. I was going to film some yesterday. Completely forgot. I haven't got any guava soda. Guava um, mixer. So I've got to go and buy some this week. Right, that Collins is a resounding 10 out of 10. I flipping well love that. That is really, really good. Refreshing. Run forward. Citrusy. It's, not, it's obviously, it's obviously a, a, a lengthened daiquiri. That's all it is. You know, it's just a kind of a, a long daiquiri. So, obviously, it's going to work. Juritos. Uh, oh. <laughs> Laura's going to be disappointed if I don't come to I'm coming because I've got a film. <laughs> I've got to, got to film stuff. But all masked up, especially if everyone else is there. We, we need to get some photos of all the Christmas trees in the office as well. I was quite kind of impressed by everyone's... Uh, commitment to Christmas in the office the other day when I nipped him. Right. Uh, what's up next then? So the Bramble. Now, the Bramble. Interestingly enough, there's a, I'm not going to spoil the story because the story is in uh, the video that I did film yesterday. But I've given a shout out to Trevor uh, and a nod to Trevor because of the Bramble. But I've I've done a, I've already recorded this uh, for a video and I think it comes out. It may be the Christmas Day video. Don't hold me to that. It, I, I can't remember when it's uh, when it's actually coming out, unless I can go here. Schedule. I can go here. Look at me. I'm all I'm all down with the kids, isn't I? Uh, it is. It's Christmas Day. I've given it a great name as well. Uh, a really good name. Genius name for me. Like proper genius name for me. But it's a rift up bramble. It's a rum rift up bramble, and it's stunning. Really, really, really good. Uh, but tonight we're just going to do a plain, simple bramble for you. Simple, simple bramble. So uh, again, I want shout outs for those of you that know what brambles are. I want shout outs for the rum to use in this. Uh, so I'm going to prep that. So the first one, bramble is essentially um, gin, lemon, sugar, and chambord or creme de mure or something. Obviously, we're going to be using frambois de Rance. Uh, don't worry, kids. I've got another bottle up there. FDR. Uh, belly away. Thanks, Jiffard. Jiffard, Jiffard, love me. Thanks, Jiffard. Uh, right, so the rum I'm going to use for this, Justina. Hello, Justina. Uh, I just want to, Neil, I've got a question. I just want to uh, give me the rum first. Uh, El Dorado. We'll talk about eight-year-old. Oh, Jamaican rum. All right. Sorry, Trevor. I missed that. Jamaican rum. Oh, how much Zy Macca have I got? Let's go Zy Macca. All right. Let's go Zy Macca. Uh, so we can do that. Zy Macca. Rachel, you're too slow. Too slow. So we've got a bit of Jamaican funk. I need to revisit that because it's kind of... Oh, the door's opening. I thought I thought she was coming in to get a cocktail, then. <laughs> right. So rum, uh, lime, sugar, 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 sugar. I'm going to serve it properly. We're going to do the whole drizzle of the um, the FDR in a second. Right. Rum, gin. And the cool thing is, with because rum is sweeter than gin, you need to you can add less sugar to your brambles and your Collins. So you're actually having less sugar. In that, in that good. By drinking rum, you're you're saving on calorie counts. How's that? I look after you, don't I? All you health conscious people. All right, that'll do. Don't even need to get the strainer out. Oh, you never lose it. Look, you never lose it. There we go. Boom. Right. Right. So, the bramble. We've got that. We've got crushed ice. Get the old FDR. Frambois de Ronce. Uh, for those of you who don't know, because I know there's a few new names in here, 
if you love your kind of berry liqueurs, whether that's cassis, muir, blackberry, which should be this, uh, Chambord, which is a black raspberry liqueur, if you love all that sort of stuff, Giffard's Frambard de Ronce. Once you go FDR, you will never go back. I promise you, it's that good. It is the best, hands down, berry liqueur in the world because they are worldwide. So it has to be in the world. There is not one berry liqueur that even comes close to being as good as that. It's a stunning. So it's Tayberry. For those of you who don't know, Tayberry is a Scottish berry, kind of a cross between a raspberry and a blackberry. It's just stunning. Really, really good. So we just have a little bit of a drizzle. We've got to serve it up properly, haven't we? There we go. There we go. Can we see, can we see the bleed effect? Look at that, look. You never lose it. Look at that. So we've got the whole... The whole bramble, does the bramble taste better with rum? What did we use? Simaca, didn't we? I've got wind as well. Do you find I've kind of had wind? There's another one of these posh liqueurs on the way early 2022. I can't, I can't imagine what it is. I'm, 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 I don't know. Right. Oh, that's... Jamaican notes, that's really good. So essentially, like let, let's be honest, that is a da that is a berry daiquiri. Let's be brutally honest. That all that is is a berry daiquiri. So a, a Frambois de Ronce daiquiri. Rum, lime, sugar, um, berry. It, it's just a daiquiri, but it's oh my god, it's good. It's what a lot of people don't realise. Kind of, we were sort of having this chat the other day in Discord. You know, all these cocktails got like different names, but they essentially come down to the same flipping thing. You know, spirit, lemon, sugar, or whatever, or spirit, lime, sugar. So the bramble, swap that out for your um, rum. So swap the gin for your rum. It's a daiquiri, simple berry daiquiri. That's all it is. A daiquiri highball. Soda, tonic, whatever you kind of use. That's all it is. Add mint. It's a mojito, isn't it? It's, it's that simple. That's, I really like that, but that's my favourite by a mile. Jamaican works really well with that, the berry notes. That's proper tasty. Right. Where do we get to? Where do we get to? Uh, lots and lots of right. Jamaican rum, I saw that. Question. What do you do? I'm, I'm guessing Trevor's piped up here. Is he? No. No, 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 no. Right. So what do you do with Eldorado? Eldorado, eight-year-old, is a very kind of rich Demerara-based rum. Uh, so it kind of gives I, it, a great use for it for me personally would be in the Mai Tai, something like that. I think that's a cracking rum. It's not a rum that I would... Uh, I have got a bit of eight-year-old. It is actually... That. <laughs> that's that's my Demerara, that's my Eldorado eight-year-old. I broke the bottle, the bottle smashed off. So it's actually in Havana, but yeah, that's that's it. So you can kind of see the colour difference between, hopefully, between that and can you see that? So that's the five-year-old Eldorado and the eight-year-old. I think so if I didn't have the pusses or the goslings or anything like that, the eight-year-old for me would be that sort of classic kind of dark rum. Uh, vibe that you want off cocktails gives you that richer kind of demerara uh, feel uh, so plenty of tiki cocktails that are working it, tiki cocktails they're all interchangeable it's just the rums that you like um eight-year-old i have used in my times quite a lot with an agricole or maybe with a jamaican a rum so kind of if you want to split the, the mai tai into three is a base spirit so instead of uh, like two rums maybe you could do three so you could go like an agricole, a Jamaican rum, and then a bit of El Dorado eight-year-old. That would be a fantastic combination as well. Uh, so kind of those sort of big, bold, tropical kind of cocktails, tiki cocktails, that's where I would go for El Dorado eight-year-old personally. Um, but, you know, what, what do you use goslings for? Um, dark and stormies, gin, um, rum and ginger, you know. It's an expensive rum to do rum and ginger with, but it's flipping well going to work. Uh, so yeah, that's that's anything like that. Rums, rums are semi interchangeable. You just kind of have to allow for the different nuances in there. And in spiced rums, you've got to allow for the sugar and the different flavours. That's all. So, will spiced rums work in most cocktails, rum cocktails? Yes, of course they will. Just bearing in mind they will be a bit sweeter. So you just kind of play about with the sugar levels slightly of your cocktails, but. 
Uh, not too much, because we're not, at the end of the day, with spiced rums, we're not talking liqueur strength or liqueur sweetness. They are sweeter than rum, but not as sweet. So you just, maybe if you were doing a cocktail with, say, like 15 ml of sugar syrup with normal rum, if you were using spiced rum, you might bring that down to 10 ml or maybe even 5 ml. Uh, just play about with that. But that's kind of, that's where you're sort of going with that sort of stuff. All right? Right. Uh, so let's hide that. Uh, I've scrolled up way too far now. Uh, right. Some of my best friends are gin lovers. Uh, Alho, make uh, make new friends. That's easy. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Uh, the brand, the brand boy is going to be the best one. I'm actually really looking forward to the Clover Club, Trev. Uh, I've got that down here, uh, and the bees need the bees knees is actually coming next. I might do your well, no, I'll do the bees knees. I'll do the Floradora, uh, and then we'll do the Clover Club. Uh, don't mean it's a Christmas party, but well, to be fair, there's no one else in the office. Is a uh, it's like what six of them in the office, right? 96 is mental. 96 rums. Oh, Claire, you need to have a party when you get to 100. <laughs> the 100th rum is. Right. Uh, da, da, da. Steve, make another live like this one by putting rum into vodka cocktails. Yeah, we'll do that. I think we've got, I think Trevor's planned to be out for the next few weeks. Uh, so we'll do that in January. <laughs> <laughs> or whiskey cocktails. You can just you could just go on forever with this, can you? Uh, to be fair, I've got a Manhattan coming up. I've done plenty of old fashions on here as well. So kind of whiskey is a decent one to interchange with anyway. Uh, but rum. The Cosmopolitan with rum. Why not? <laughs> the French martini with rum. Why not? The espresso martini, 100% with rum. It's so much better with rum. Right. Uh, ED. Hey, Ash, how are you? Dank, pretty. I have a whole bottle of Giffard cherry, uh, but I've no idea to what's used in ideas. Uh, I've got, I've got lots. They're still live on my channel. Just go down and just search cherry on my channel. You'll find loads of because uh, obviously the cherry, cherry brandy, cherry. Uh, so I did cherry hearing, and then before I swapped over, it was is this stuff. But so just search out cherry hearing on my channel. You'll find loads. I think there's two videos. With five cocktails, so 10, 10 cocktails on there. But uh, Singapore slings, stuff like that, uh, with with um, the cherry out and out cherry. He says, <laughs> great minds three. There we go. Right, hide. Uh, uh, is there any vodka cocktails? Yeah, I've just mentioned them. Trevor, come on, espresso martini, better with rum. Cosmopolitan with rum. That's going to be that all day long, isn't it? Right. So let's do the old bee's knees. The knees with bees. Oh, no, hide. Sorry. Right. The old bees knees. So, bees knees. I, I'm going to I'm gonna make it daiquiri style, bees knees. So, uh, that's that's my bramble, wasn't it? Right. There we go. So, bees knees. Again, rum for this. I pretend, oh, I might choose the rum for this one. So, um, lime, honey, and orange. I didn't get any orange. He's had a... Failure, hasn't he? Uh, what am I looking for over here? Honey. Uh, orange. I need to squeeze up some orange. Bear with. Bear with. Did, 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 did. Have I got an orange in here? No. I'm going to put my bald head in front of the camera. I'm really, really sorry. Here we go. Right. Squeeze some orange. Right. So I need uh, rum choices for this one. So essentially, honey, rum, uh, a tiny bit of orange and a tiny bit of lime. That's what we're going for for the bee's knees. So I want a little bit of orange. Is that in shot? Yeah, that's in shot. Boom. Just do this one. So what rum are we using? Any? Everyone smash the like button. I always forget about to ask for this. Smash that like button. Thank you, Trevor. Yes. Hit me up. Hit me up, big boys and girls. Uh, smash the like button. There we go. Well, it's like 10 likes now. What? Chairman's, thank you, Paul. Chairman's, that's what we're going for. He was first. He gets it. Chair. I was. I take it you mean. Um, well, we're going normal chairman's anyway. But spiced would work. Right. Have I got? That'll be enough orange. That'll be enough. Yeah, that's all right. Is that enough? 
let's let's have a see. Let's whip my jigger gone. Right. So, uh, bees knees. I just want because um, I'm doing this small. I'm just going to go ten mil of orange juice. Not too much. Oh no, that's that's a bit too much. There we go. So ten mil of orange juice. Up spirits. Good old pusses. Up 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 spirits. There we go. Up spirits. Good old pusses. Right, let's do that down there. We'll collect some more orange juice. Uh, lime juice, we're going, should be going. Again, I'm going to half this, so uh, do that. 15, 15 mil of that. Honey, again, uh, 15, so half that, so seven and a half. I don't know why I'm halving it. I'm not at all. <laughs> I love this one. This one's going big. Uh, and then we'll, we'll do a 60. We'll do a 60 because we've done it. Right, so double bubble. This one's going to be proper, 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 proper. Chairman's reserve. Let's let's hide that now. Hide. Oh, no, I'll pin that one. No, I don't want to pin that. Hide. There we go. Boom. Right. Trevor, you're too slow. Bacardi, four-year-old, you're too slow. Right. Have I got everything? Uh, gin, lemon, sh yeah, of course I have. Right. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, right, ice, 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 still on that. So this is the bee's knees, but made better with rum, obviously, and to be precise, chairman's chairman's reserve. What's that? Who's that? Windy. It was okay, Steve. Better than gin. Windy, come on. Windy. Windy, I can see you. I can see you in the Discord. Don't you? Don't you? I, I know you're converted. I noticed you didn't have the uh, the guts to put that in the actual chat, did you? I know you can't put a photo in the chat, but... Right. Da, 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 da. Right, double strain, Nick and Nora. So this is a chairman's bee's knees. Essentially, another daiquiri. A honey a honey with an orange twist daiquiri. That's all it is. People think all these weird and wonderful named cocktails, all that flipping well is is a honey with a slight hint of orange daiquiri. Simple. Right, look at that. Oh. I have to say, may have not been the best rum choice for that. I want something with a little more, that would definitely be a Jamaican run for me. What did Trevor ask for? Picardi four-year-old. No, I wouldn't have even gone Picardi four-year-old for that. I think... Sorry, you only, you only live once, don't you? You only, you only live once. I think... Oh, right. I've done Jamaican. I think... Do you know what? Because it's been sitting there for flipping ages. Let's do the El Dorado eight-year-old. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it, let's do it. Right, uh, let's get rid of all that. Let's do it, interest of science. So we're gonna do exactly the same cocktail, but with El Dorado eight-year-old as well. Yes, that is, as I've just, if you're just coming on, yes, I've just explained that is El Dorado eight-year-old in there. So uh, double bubble of eight-year-old. And when I get rid of that, I'll get another bottle of eight year old, can't I? Right, so we've done that. We are going to do the lime again. So 15 of lime, 10 of orange, and honey, 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 15 of honey. There we go. Right, boom. Lovely, jubbly. Right, let's see if a Demerara kind of really rich uh, sort of rum. I love Chairman's. I just don't think it was the best rum suited for that cocktail. Georgie F. Hello, Georgie F. How are you? <laughs> if you've been cutting people's hair again today, most in demand, most in demand, uh, what, what are we calling you, stylist in, um, in Bulldog. <laughs> right. See, look at the colour difference of that. Look at the colour difference of that. Can you see that? Well, I don't know whether that's picking up on screen. Can you see that? You should be able to pick that up on screen. Look at the colour difference of that, look. Mm. 
Yeah, now we're cooking on gas. That's better. Richer, kind of more caramelo, rummy kind of notes to it. That's better. That is such a good, good, good cocktail. Oh, I don't know. Bramble. I'm going this one now, the bee's knees. That's better. So, as I say, it's just essentially a honey and orange daiquiri. That's all it is. Oh, that's so good. That's my favourite one now. Favourite one of the night. Right. So Trevor doesn't uh, moan and whinge. Yeah, you're not doing my cocktail. You're not doing my cocktail. <laughs> uh, let's do his Dora the Magic Explorer cocktail. Right, pinned messages. Look at that, look. Look at me pinning messages. Can I hide it? Yeah, I can. There we go. Right. Sorry, put it on there. Right. So, uh, Trevor, I've got to go back to the chat now. Ginger ale. Oh, you would ask for ginger ale. So right, I've got ginger ale. Yeah, we've got that. Getting honey all over my 100-pound mouse. Uh, right, Trevor, what rum? Victor number three. Oh, what? Hang on. What, what, what? Oh, well, there we go. Question answered. Right. Victor. Victor number one. Who's Victor number three? I, I've got to be, I've got to be Victor number one, surely. Well, Windy, oh no. Windy's Victor number one, surely. Uh, <laughs> Not long been in. Georgie, I think I need a drink after a day. Georgie, dr join us for a drink. Right. Plantation three stars. Okay. Plantation three stars is yours. Yours, yours, yours. So we are doing uh, one and a half ounces of gin. That's a bit pathetic, isn't it? Uh, so uh, here we go, Prissy. Another great gin. <laughs> so 45 mil plantation, three stars. Boom, done. Uh, Frambar de Runtz, half an ounce of Frambar of FDR. So we'll translate 15, 15 mil for you kids, 15 mil for you teenagers. One five. Uh, I love this. 15 ml of lime juice. Uh, and then, to be fair, I could have just flipping well made this in the glass, can I? Uh, but let's put that in there. Let's give it a shaky, 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 shaky. I have to get the old, uh, I have to get the old can of dry up. Right, that'll do. Power shake. Right, and four ounces specifically of ginger ale. Uh, Canadian Dry. Where's my Canadian Dry? Have I got any in the fridge? No. Canadian Dry. Got loads here, though. There we go. Right. My little, my little ditty. Look, this, this, this gets Kevin, uh, uh, Trevor, every time. Look, Canada Dry, Canada Dry. From Schweppes. <laughs> Canada Dry. Schweppes. The world's gone mad. For those of you who don't know the story behind that, Canada Dry and Schweppes are two completely different companies and products in the can in Canada and the US. <laughs> but over here, they're the same thing. <laughs> right, four ounces. What's that? Four ounces? Four, four ounces? 120 mil? Okay. Okay. Um, um, I'll do 120 mil. Oh, that's a bit of a bit of a weak one, isn't it? Right. Flora the Magic Explorer. There we go. Look, I've got some mint here as well. We can garnish with some ropey mint. If anyone knows where to get some decent mint this time of year, let me know. Right, there we go. Boom. Right. Uh, so what's this? The Floridora, isn't it? Yeah, Floridora. Flora the Magic Explorer. No, God, no. Ooh, no. Mm. This is... Um... It's nice, this bit. I think... Mm. What do I do? Uh, one and a half ounces. I think... Hang on. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's, let's salvage this. So we need to whack that up to 60 mil. So another half an ounce. Boom, ba -da -ba -boom. It's the ginger ginger ale. Way too much ginger ale. Way, way, way too much ginger ale. 60 mil of ginger ale. Uh, 
We're getting there now. We're getting there. I would have cut. I would have cut the ginger ale back. I should have done. I know you Canadians. You like you like your weak drinks. You can't handle strong drinks. <laughs> that is really nice. To be fair, it was really refreshing. Like it's it's on level. It's that kind of wang on. Sorry. Uh, hide. How do I hide that? Hide that. It's on the whole kind of Collins level. It's a similar Collins. Obviously, we're just swapping out the tonic water for ginger ale. And we've got some berry notes in there. But essentially the same sort of, sort of thing because the berry uh, replaces the sugar that we put in the Collins. So that's your sweetener. And then obviously, we're swapping the the, um, the tonic that I used in that or the soda water for ginger. So essentially the same sort of thing. All right. Uh, it's just for me, it's just uh, too, too weak. The, the, you know, 120 ml of ginger in there is a bit, bit too much for me personally. I'll cut it back to 90, uh, so like three ounces maybe. But yeah. But still that, I mean, that's amazing. Right. What's going on? We got some bots here. Caitlin and all that. What's this? Fask tech and all this malarkey. We got random bots. Louis from Atlanta. Oh, right. Louis. Louis, where? Whereabouts in Atlanta? My cousin lives in Atlanta. Uh, just outside Hoshton. That's where my cousin lives. So Atlanta, hang on. If you're looking at Atlanta like that, Atlanta's there. Hoshton's here somewhere in it, I think. Somewhere like that. Uh, but yeah. So where whereabouts are you? Where are you actually in Atlanta or you're out? Uh, so hello, Louis. Uh, Kay prefers rum. Claire prefers rum. Uh, I think it's pretty. Oh, well, I can't, I'm, I'm starring all these comments. Pretty, I pretty, pretty much nailed this live stream. <laughs> Sum this whole live stream up. This whole two hour, one and a half hours, however long we go for uh, live stream up in one comment. Yes, time to chuck the gin out. <laughs> right. Um. Paul, oh, hang on. What? Paul and Wendy are one and two. So I'm number three. I'm I'm the third. Foot. I'm, well, to be fair, I'm not grumpy. I'm not like grumpy like Paul and Wendy. I'm just, I just go in rant mode. When I go in rant mode, it's funny. So, you know, Victor is like grumpy. I'm not grumpy. So but I, I, I'll take Victor. I don't, I don't care. Call me Victor if you want. But I'm a fun Victor. You know, like, like uh, my rants are funny. You know, they're not, they're not kind of like boring, are they? Not that I'm calling Paul and Wendy boring. I'm just calling them Victor. Victor Meldrews. <laughs> he started it. <laughs> oh, we love you too, Paul and, and uh, Wendy. Right. Lots and lots of comments. I've got some mint from Lidl. I'm having a rum mojito. As opposed to, what, a, a brandy mojito? A gin mojito? Uh, I didn't create a down cocktail. <laughs> no, you told me to do it though. <laughs> Bants in it. Right, here we go. Here's Victor number one. Uh, gin cocktail better with rum. If it still tastes crap, just add loads more rum. Hey, Amber P, Amber P. Uh, where are we going? Jack. Ah, oh, Amber. I hope that means drink stuff channel as well. Because that you got to come and find us on the drinks for you. I know you are on the drink stuff channel, but. See, this channel's just rum now. Drink stuff, we get a bit leery with. We get a bit leery with the syrups, the purees and that sort of stuff. That's the fun, fruity stuff. And and all. Well, I love gin. I love gin over on that channel. Absolutely love gin over on that channel. On this channel, I flipping well hate gin. <laughs> I can't stand it. But on that channel, yeah, I love it. I love it. It's great stuff. <laughs> uh, Wacky. Is that how I say that? Wocky, how, how do I say that? I'm going wocky, wocky, wok, 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 yeah, yeah, that's how I'm going to say that. Wocky, hello, wocky. What does Mummy Barman think? I think I, I think she's probably watching. I'm a celebrity final, isn't she? She's not watching this. Uh, Natalie, that's a new name. Hello, Natalie. Natalie, where where are you from? Where do you live? Not precisely. We don't want it, we don't want stalkers coming around your house. But what part of the world or the UK are you from? Whoa, Kuwait. Right, hang on. My husband's, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I just saw Kuwait. My husband's got a full collection of seven. Wow. Kevin, you've got competition here. <laughs> wow, that's cool. To be fair, so have I. I just 
you know, they just live over at Drink Stuff now. Uh, Natalie, Natalie, Nat- I saw. I swear, I saw another Natalie somewhere. Where was Natalie's other comment? Oh yes, that's so. Yes, Drink Stuff channel as well. But I found your channel. Well, yes, yeah, because my channel has been around since two thousand and fourteen, isn't it? Uh, uh, Wally, Wally from Kuwait. That is amazing. Wally, tell us about rum in Kuwait. Do we get rum in Kuwait? Like, what brands do we get? Uh, like, I've got Jonathan. I haven't seen Jonathan for a few weeks, but Jonathan's in like Saudi Arabia and I don't Dubai. Uh, so Saudi and Dubai. So we've had a bit of rum chats there. Tell us about rum in Kuwait. I want to know what sort of rums can you get out there. Oh, kind of, this is interesting. Right. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> right. Uh, da, da, what's Trevor saying? Your favourite drink? Yeah, well, that's what I mean. That was, you know, but that was that was pre-rum, wasn't it? So I love gin then. <laughs> Look, the, to be fair, I, I kind of love the, the flavoured gin, the fun drink, Whitley Neal gins. They're kind of good fun like the mango and lime, the watermelon and kiwi and all that sort of stuff. You know, the fun stuff. It's like proper gin. I don't, I don't see, I don't get proper gin. That whole juniper forwards, like botanical malarkey sort of stuff. I don't, I don't get that gin. That's not fun gin. If you've got one London dry gin, like what's the point in the other sort of 4,700 other London dry gins in the world? There is no point. You know, it's juniper forward. End of story. Um, Rum's different, no. Rum gets aged. It takes on barrel aging. It takes on characteristics. It's a whole skill set in, in distilling and aging, whereas gin is just like throw a few botanicals in a thing and then like literally you could, in two hours later, you could have your finished product. I mean, really? Where's, where's the skill? Where's the labour of love in that? Like generally, where is the labour of love? I'm just weird. I'm seeing how many gin lovers I can upset tonight. <laughs> but seriously, where is where is the labour of love with gin? Botanicals, weigh them all out. Still, pff, alcohol, pff, distill, pff, collect it. Gin, oh, taste of juniper. Woo. You know where where's the like the tropical aging? Where's where's the blending? Where where's all where where's all the craft and the skill and the you know all the factors that come into rum? Where's all that with gin? It's just not there. It's juniper. Like you've got four thousand. I forget what it is now. London dries. It's like it's nearly five thousand London dry gins in the world. Like what's the point? What is the point in five hundred five thousand London dry gins? What is the point? It's just juniper in it, right? If we've not upset enough gin lovers. <laughs> Oh, we have a bit of a wind up, don't we? We go fishing. We see how many people we catch. We go and fishing. Right, I've got my Clover Club to do now. We don't work. What? 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 Right. So, does that mean gin equals bacon syrup? Yeah, close. <laughs> gin produces. Well, to be fair, they didn't because all the gin, all the gin distillers were doing was buying in the, the alcohol. So they didn't. <laughs> they just had all this excess alcohol because obviously the gin wasn't selling as much. So they just, there's very few gin distillers that actually distill from scratch. Very, very, very few. Most of the gins in the UK is bought in alcohol and alcohol comes from one of the three bit, well, there's a few more than that now, but one of the big sort of five, maybe 10 distillers in the UK. They all buy their alcohol and then they re-distill with that. So even though some of your little local distilleries were giving out hand sanitizer, the fact is they were just buying, it was just excess alcohol that they were buying in. That's all it was. So yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh, we have a laugh and a giggle, don't we? <laughs> yep we did, did, did. but if they if they want to get into that argument just bring it on bring it on i'll quite happily have that argument with them see they can publicly they can say what they want it's behind the scenes we know what goes on behind the scenes so yeah that's why we can have a laugh and a gigs with them can't we right maybe the this five thousand gin hand sanitizers gin is the new baking syrup 
<laughs> yes. Right. Uh, let's let's crack on. We've up. See see we have. So the tune people don't like tuning for this. If they if they did, I wouldn't say it. But you know they're never going to see this. If you share it with them, fine. <laughs> Banter in it. Bants. Right. Um, we are going for the Clover Club now. So the Clover Club is a really good uh, gin cocktail. So the Clover the Clover Club is egg white essentially, but we are going. From this stuff, <coughs> let's give drink stuff some shout out. Where? Let's give ODK some shout out as uh, so we do this. Hi, Anne. Is that Anne? My my thing is hovering over there. Home bartender with Anne. Hello, Anne. How are you? Uh, Paul, look, 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 Paul. Anne, you've just missed my rant. You'll have to go and rewind and watch my my, my gin rant. <laughs> I've just I've just gone on a gin rant. And right, um, so. What, what was it saying? Like, uh, Paul. Right. Oh, no. Flipping hell. I don't know what that comment was. Pre. Onk, onk. Uh, right. Oh, all these comments coming in. I didn't want to do that. That's the, that's the one I want to highlight. Right. You can take my figure. I told you, Paul, my rants are funny. I'm not whinging. You know, I'm not grumpy. I'm not a grumpy old man. You know, not like you. <laughs> I'm in one of those wind up moves. Start. I love you, Paul. I love you really. Don't, 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 don't go, Paul. Don't go. Don't leave us, Paul. Don't, don't go, don't go, don't go. I know you keep threatening. I know everyone keeps oh, we're going to st STB, like Aussie STB. Don't, don't go, don't go. Please don't go, Paul. Please stay. I'm sorry, Paul. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. <laughs> I've got really, I've got really wet hands, so I'm going to have to go over it. Oh, I've got my wash buckets out. That's what I didn't do. So I was chatting to my Discord community for half an hour before this, thinking there was something I hadn't done. I haven't got my wash-up station done. So I can't wash up afterwards. Ah, oh, crushed ice. We have to use crushed ice. Right, Rick. So, and that. So Clover Club. Uh, hide that. Oh, here we go. Look, Christine. Oh, have I upset Christine? Christine, don't defend the gin crowd. The beauty is there's so much excellent spirits I go between. The... No. No, don't don't go sitting on the fence, Christine. No, don't want, I don't want any splinters. No, don't no, look, splinters. Splinters are bad for you. They get cuts and they can be infected. Splinters are not good for sitting on fences. You know, you just make your decision. <laughs> right. uh, so, uh, what we're we doing? I'm doing the Clove Club. So, lemon uh, raspberry syrup, essentially. Now, I have got, I think, unless it is in drink stuff. I think it might be in drink stuff. That's a poo, isn't it? I thought I had Monin's uh, raspberry syrup here. So instead, we're going to have to give out some love to ODK. So this might be a little bit thicker uh, than a traditional kind of clover club, but we can work with that. I'm sure I had the raspberry syrup here. There we go. Right. So we've got a bit of ODK loving going on there. So we've got some raspberry. Traditionally, would be kind of like a thinner raspberry sort of syrup. And then it's obviously gin. So we are going for rum. I think I'm going to pick the rum for this one. What rum's going to go really well with... Um, I've, I keep threatening to get it out. I'm going to go Veritas for this one. Let's go Veritas. Let's, let's just do it. All the comments... Oh, I think I've upset a lot of people here now. Uh, <laughs> the comments are flying in. Uh, did it, did it. <laughs> I, think, I think I went into my settings after the last live show, so a couple of weeks ago, because I went here last week. I think I went into my settings. It was like approved, because I, I kind of noticed quite a few comments that weren't coming through. Uh, afterwards, because it tells me afterwards when I go into YouTube, because I don't actually stream on YouTube here, I use software. And there was like, so I've just checked a button just to approve all comments. <laughs> uh, right, what? Yeah, well, you know, to be fair, I was I, th I thought you lot would be chatting, but I was having to start the conversation. You're all sitting there like a flipping library, weren't you? Just like, yeah, got nothing to say today. I went until Trevor came on. You lot bloody start chatting. Ross was all right and he was cooking dinner and then came back. Everyone else was just like, mm. yeah, Sunday. Mm. <laughs> oh, right. For the love of God, what's going on here? The bants. Oh, I know. I know she's Christine. I, I know Christine's from Canada. I know Christine. Christine's, Christine's been a long time fan, just like you, Trevor. Don't you're not the only one. Don't worry, you're not the only Canadian that stalks me. 
<laughs> oh, I do love a Clover Club. Right, Sam. Sam would give me any screen time. Right. Oh, that's it. That's it. Blame, blame the kids. You know, blame the flipping kids. <laughs> right. Wait till I get in the next lounge next week with the bus. <laughs> right. So it's that time of the month for Steve. It's not. My time. I've got another couple of weeks before it's my time of the month. And end of the month is normally my time of the month. Uh, what's that? Wind, see, Wendy's having bants. Wendy, see, put that. Don't don't put it in the Discord. Otherwise, I will read it out. Put it if you if you haven't got the bottle to say it on on public. Don't say it at all, Wendy, because I will. <laughs> Wendy, uh, it's not actually. So it wasn't banned. Sorry, I've read the rest of the comment. It's not banned to it. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Uh, what uh, what Walid is Kuwait a dry country? I think it. I think it is, and it isn't. Is it? They, I forget what the, the stipulations are around there. Definitely not. <laughs> right. So let's get on and make the Clover Club with this more banter. I'll tell you what, you lot, you lot flipping winding me up today. You lot are just giving me so much ammunition to just rip the pee out of a lot of you, ain't you? Uh, hopefully we'll be in the lounge. I help Claire. <laughs> right, so let's crack on. So uh, Veritas, let's go for a double bubble of Veritas. Uh, so 60 mil. So this is the Clover Club. As I say, it should be an egg white cocktail, uh, but we don't do egg whites, do we? So uh, got a bit of Veritas going on there. Uh, lime juice. Uh, what's the actual? Yeah, I was going to do that. So 15 mil of lime juice. Right. Now, as this is a puree, what I'm going to do, or fruity mix, what I'm going to do with this, instead, of, so the recipe should be like 15 mil of Monin or ODK or something of, of um, syrup, not like a thicker stuff of this. This will pack a punch. So what I'm actually going to do is 10 mil of puree. Now, it'll be the same if you've got the Monin grey bottle, uh, so the fruity mix, or Real, of that. And I'm just going to add 5 mil of sugar syrup to it. Um just to kind of give it that same sort of sweetness, that same sort of texture. So five mil. There we go. Right. Boom. Done. Uh, did I do the line? Oh, chatting away. Chatting away. Did I do the line? Yeah, I must have done. Right. The line's there. Right. And now we're going for our egg white or our foamers replacement. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to do eight. Instead of six, I'm going to do eight because of the puree. It needs a little bit of extra oomph just to kind of froth it up. Right. Ice, ice, ice. Right, if anyone's got any more gin cocktails, because that's the end of my gin cocktail. So if anyone's got one more uh, gin cocktail, then let me know. Where's my other shaker? There it is. Right. Uh, let's go vintage. Vint vintage for this one. Cold, isn't it? What? Trevor sounds like Kiefer Sutherland. <laughs> oh, I love a bit of Kiefer. Oh, I miss 24. 24, they should meet. They should bring back 24. Oh, that smells really good. They should bring back 24. 24 is epic. I love. When lockdown, lockdown, lockdown 1.0 hit, first thing I did, 24. Start to finish. Literally did it in, in about 11 days, I think it was. All 10 seasons, is it? Is it 10? I think it's 10, isn't it? All 10 seasons, 11 days. Awesome. Love 24. Right. Uh, and and what's the Netflix one? Uh, where he's like president. Um, what's that called? The Survivor. No, designated Survivor. See, Kiefer. And do you know what I watched yesterday as well? Uh, no, it's day Friday. Uh, during the afternoon while I was sort of editing away and doing some stuff. Um, uh, they just put it on Netflix. Um, uh, what did Bon Jovi do the soundtrack to? Young Guns. Young Guns 2. Oh, that's such a great film. Love a bit of Kiefer. Right. There we go. So, there we go. Look, look at that. Clover Club. Georgie's been salivating over this for about uh, five minutes now while I've been waffling away. So, a bit of Clover. Oh, it's called Clover Club, actually. I've got no idea where the name come from. I'm sure, I'm sure Trevor will enlighten us. Beep. 
I think my ringtone, even though my phone is permanently on silent, I think my ringtone is actually 24, the CTU phone. Oh, damn, that's good. That is good. So, favourites. Number one. Uh, what did I do? Eldorado, uh, uh, yeah, Eldorado, eight-year-old. as the bee's knees. Way better. I've forgotten what I even use for that now. It's good, but way better. Bramble was good. Um, they're pretty similar, just a fruity twist on that. Oh, I don't know. I'm going first and second, I think. But this one's awesome. Clove Club was a gents' lounge in New York. Okay. Probably makes sense. A lot of cocktails were named after, like, the bars where they were made. So it kind of makes sense, actually, to be fair. I think the raspberry, I think, I think even, I could have dialed the raspberry puree back. So instead of 10, I could have gone 7.5 mil of raspberry and 7.5 mil of sugar. Because I've I've had it before with uh, Monin's raspberry syrup, and it's a little bit a little bit sweeter. Mm. Looks like Angel Delight. I love those famous. Those famous are epic. Look, get get your famous from drinkstuff.com. Uh, ODK, if you've not seen these, who have we got on? We got we should we probably got loads of people on that haven't seen these before. We've seen these. So for those of you who don't like egg whites, look at that. Look look. Magic Velma drops it. Look, 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 little drops of magic. That's what they are. Look. Drink stuff website, drinkstuff.com. Uh, don't ask me how much they are. They're worth it though. But six drops, that bottle's lasted me well over a year. I have got a different uh, brand here. Where's it gone? He says, I was only using it yesterday. There it is. No, not that bottle. Oh, there it is, right in front of me. This is the other one. No, I do love this. This is the one I normally use on this channel now. But I have to give John some love as well. Miraculous Foamers. You just have to use slightly more in these. But they are... Oh, see, look, the camera, the camera blurs nicely when you do that. Why doesn't it do that in my videos? That's awesome. I like, oh, I like the blur effect. I might just stand there. Right, there we go. But these do... These basically replace egg whites. But the cool thing is, you know, even when you don't... Like, my thing is like the Cosmopolitan. I love using foamers in Cosmopolitans. I love that white frothy effect on top. So it's not an egg white cocktail. I just love adding the, adding the foamers just to make them look better. The, the flat and limpless uh, like Cosmo is just like a red flat sort of martini kind of thing. Just looks so much better when it's got that layer of froth on top. So much better. So yeah. Right. Uh, there's lots of chat. There's lots of big chat coming on here. Right, hang on. Where's my mouse? Mousey, mousey. There we go. Georgie, Georgie, Georgie. Georgie, Georgie, Georgie. Right, where do we go to? Lots of 24 chat coming on. Keith is, Keith is Canadian. No, is he? I never knew that. Ramos Rum Fizz. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, but I've got famous, so I wouldn't need to, you wouldn't need to shake it for half an hour. Uh, shake face for half an hour. That'd keep Damo happy, wouldn't it? Uh, I joined like Saturn. Uh, uh. We, did, we did Saturn a few weeks ago, didn't we? I never knew Kiefer was can Canadian. Never knew that. Right. Uh, it makes an odd appearance. And da, 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 da. Lost Boys, The Four Musketeers. Uh, how would it taste with FDR? You, need, you do need the sugar in there. You need a bit of sugar. So you could use FDR, uh, Frambois de Ronce, and a bit of sugar. Five, 10 mil sugar, maybe, just to kind of balance it out a little bit. But yeah, that'll be quite nice. Whole egg? I'm not using eggs. Eggs, eggs are for scrambling only, not for flipping cocktails. Whole eggs. Anyone think you're a flipping bartender? What are you, what are you flipping what? Eggs. Eggs are for frying and scrambling and not for cocktails. <laughs> Trevor started it. He wound me up, so I'll, I'll just, I'm just keeping going now. Right, what's the time? Oh, we must be getting... The numbers have dropped off. We must be getting to the point now where the winner's announced on uh, I'm a Celebrity, isn't it? That's, that's where Mummy Barman is. She ain't got a clue. She ain't watching tonight. She don't care. Ant and Deck, innit? Right. 
And uh, what's this one? Lots of lots of chat here. Men loved it and drank it in private because they're embarrassed to drink a pink drink. Well, that's what they flipping say about the porn star martini. But you get the blokes involved in that. They're straight on it. Okay, I just bought a bottle of foamers and not used them yet. I bought it with twenty percent off on Wednesday night. Nice. Was that the OD hang on? Was that the ODK one on Wednesday night? I forgot what one it was. Um, nice, Kay. Nice. Nice to see us in stock. The girls have done well. <laughs> Laura, calm down if you're still here. <laughs> oh, I do love winding people up. It's how, how difficult is it, though, to buy stuff to make sure it's... When you're getting low on stock, you just replenish it, don't you? It's, how difficult is that? Out of stock. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get such a slap. <laughs> right. I know it's Brexit, I know, I know it's Brexit and other stuff, I get it, and COVID, I get it, I get it. Don't, 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 I'm only winding people up. Uh, but seriously, you know, when someone gets low, you just order more, don't you? Or have your stock levels a bit higher so it doesn't go out of stock. Not difficult. <laughs> Right, uh, let's stop winding people up. I love, I love the buying girls at drink stuff. It's not their, it's not their fault. In, in all honesty, it's COVID and and um, uh, like uh, Brexit sort of stuff, like tankers and. Do you know? It's really interesting. I was actually chatting to um, a couple of brands that have got literally pallet, uh, not pallets, containers, literally two or three containers at Tilbury Docks. And they can't get the booze out of Tilbury Docks. It's sitting right there in Tilbury in London. It's just they just can't get it out of Tilbury for some red tape or something that's going on with tax and God knows what Brexit. They just physically can't get it out of so Bond essentially at Tilbury uh, into stock. So it's out of stock everywhere, and yet there's flipping cases and cases and cases of it, uh, of different rums and different products at Tilbury in the UK. It just can't come out of Bond at the moment. It's like what the hell is all that about? How stupid is that? Right, crack on. Uh, there's lots of that. Da, 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 da. Yum, it's my favourite cocktail. What, the Clover Club? <laughs> I don't believe it. Sorry, I've got a Discord open as well at the same time. Yes, oh, Kevin shared 24 at the same time. I've got those, I've got those, uh, Kev, I've got those DVDs as well. I've got, I've, well, I've obviously got an Amazon Prime, but, uh, yeah, right, Windy. Um, hello, wild child. How are you? Calm down, little belly eggs. I'm just in one of those wind-up moves tonight. To be fair, Anne. it could anything could set me off. Perhaps it's my time of the month. Perhaps it's come early. Don't normally come to the end of the month, but I don't know. Perhaps it's perhaps. Oh, yeah. Perhaps it's just. I don't know. I don't know what's. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> have you Prosecco? No, I haven't got Prosecco. No, I've, I have got Prosecco, but I'm not flipping open it. Prosecco. Uh, what, for the French 75? What was that? French 75. Uh, yeah, it, well, it's, it's that, isn't it? It's just that, but Prosecco instead of Mediterranean tonic. So no, I'm not, I'm not a huge... Pre I need to stock up on little bottles of Prosecco. That's what I need to do. Um, I always forget, so I need to get like five or six bottles of, because then I'll go in phases where I'll do like spritzes. Mummy Barman loves a spritz, but if I open a bottle, we're going to do like one one glass of it, and then it's gone because it's just going to sit there. So I never bother opening prosecco. So I need to get lots of little bottles. That's what I do. Uh, oh, she's still here. I knew someone would pipe up. Hey, let's wind up the drink stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, I, I knew. I see how I, I get people. I wind them up. I get them coming. Uh, right, where do we go? Where do we go? Yeah, I bought it with coke. Oh, hang on. What? What else you bought? Kay? coconut puree. I keep making painkillers. Kay, there's a passion and pain coming out. Uh, Pusses passion and pain next Saturday. Oh dear God, you're going to love that as well. So, stay spiced rum cocktail. On um, so it's a painkiller. It's a passion passion fruit riff on the painkiller, but there's another little riff on there. Uh, so stay tuned for that. That's coming out Saturday, Kate. All right, Kate. Set your alarm clock eight o'clock Saturday morning. Passion pain. So you could be making it Saturday night. Right. And uh, da, 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 da. right. Oh, hang on. What? Anne Hendrix. 
Whoa, hang on a minute. Do you want me to go into another rap mode? Someone actually had the audacity to put Velvet for Learning with Hendrix. Who would do such a thing? Uh, grapefruit. I've got Grapefruit Bitters, though. A bit Grapefruit Bitters. I, I can do that. Let's do this. Do that. So, Q, well, a cucumber and rose petal. Uh, hang on, a gimlet. Surely, is there is there no light? Oh, the velvet for learning. Okay, fair dues. Let's do that for Anne. Let's keep let's keep my uh, my American friend happy. Anne, where, where about your middle of you? Whereabouts are you, Anne? Like specifically, you're you're not you're. I've for so, I thought you were middle, and then for some random reason, it's just flashed up that you're kind of. I, I don't know. I'm not going to say it. Where, Anne, where do you live? Where's home? Right, uh, let's make Anne's little um, funny thing, but obviously not Hendrix. So for this, if it's Hendrix, a cucumber. What have we not given love to tonight? Uh, ooh, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? I'll tell you what, boys and girls, I can't wait to unleash that on you. Uh, so that's this week's rum show, Lost Years. Uh, I've got three of them here. This is... Phenomenal, right? Uh, for those of you in the UK um, that love Ray and Nephew, this is absolutely amazeballs. It's really, really good. So that will come out to play after you've watched the rum show, which is coming out on Thursday. Then we can get that out to play uh, a little bit. Uh, I potentially am going to go for this one. I'm going to do Eldorado three-year-old for this. Right, uh, a bit shaky, shaky. I need another shaker so let's do this one so where do we go 60 mil of rum there it is so 60 mil so no no lime the actual velvet for learning replaces the lime in this da, 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 da. Uh, pangos pandrix hendrix themselves of course west coast west coast Oregon, Oregon. Oh, I didn't. I didn't have Oregon pictured. I think Steve failed at geography. I didn't actually. My geography is awesome. How, Kevin? How? Why? Northwest. How? How would I fail at geography? I just. I. I don't know where she lives. I just. I. Th I thought she was kind of middle. I don't know. It's not me failing at geography. Don't go there, Kevin. Don't insult me like that. That's a bit rude. I. I feel personally. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> my geography is actually pretty good I just didn't know where she lived I didn't know it was Oregon right uh, so uh, so 15 mil off for learning Hendrix came up with a cocktail like that that's a, that's a bit crazy isn't it for old Hendrix right uh, so 15 mil off for learning love this stuff and then grapefruit bitters two dashes of grapefruit bitters so we've got a bit of Miss Betters bitters coming out here I better get the old pipette now prepare. Right, uh, one, two. So grapefruit bitters. This oh, I'm, uh, is, uh, I'm going to shake it, sod it. Um, but I'm assuming this might be a stirred drink. Actually, to be fair, cool, it smells quite nice. Right, I'm assuming this would be a stirred drink, but I'm going to shake it just for the just for the crack. Just to upset the gin lovers even more because gin, gin, they don't like their cocktails being shaken. Oh no, you stir down. Right, so we've got an, a now a cloudy drink that should be crystal clear, but hey ho. Right, let's let's do it in that. Wrong glass, but I need some more Nick and Nora's. Nick and Nora glass are really expensive, aren't they? I, I want I, I want like another. Five or six different Nick and Nora glasses. That's what I want. Right. So, um, this is uh, it's exactly, well, it's kind of is, uh, home bartender of Anne's. Don't don't say Hendrix came up with it. Claim it for yours. And just rename it. Claim it's your cocktail. I would. Right. And what did I use for this? El Dorado. Don't, I've just seen that flash up. Don't, oh, that's really good. Ooh. Ooh. So, Anne, 
and put up, don't bruise it, right? So this is the big banter with ego tenders. Oh, I had another, but he was having banter with about ego tenders the other day as well. Um, ego, ego tenders don't like shaking gin. Oh, no, you bruise, you bruise gin. It's nothing to flipping bruise in it, uh, but you bruise gin. No, you never shake, never shake gin. Um, <laughs> pretentious bunch of. <laughs> so I, I quite like that, actually. So Eldorado three-year-old. So it's kind of a daiquiri, sort of, uh, for learning, because you've obviously got the lime and the sweetness going in into your learning, as well as other things. But the grapefruit beer is really coming there as well. Oh, that's quite tasty. Oh, and, 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 and you might have won this. I still really love that. Oh, that's tough. Very different drinks. That's really clean, refreshing. Bright. Let's let's go for let's bring out the gin kind of words. It's a very bright cocktail. We love that. Very floral notes. I thought oh, I think that's actually much easier to drink than that. I love this. It's kind of a bit, bit thicker, a bit syrupy, lovely taste. I could I could quite quite easily handle three or four of those back to back quite easily um that probably one really nice one and then i'd move on to something else but that yeah that's what quite tasty right um oh, that's quite nice right here we go let's, let's just scroll down laura i've seen your question i'll come to it in a second anyway i'm just going scrolling back up right trevor what's trevor saying uh almost positive i've seen lost rum just stocked up in my really uh, I doubt it. Lost Years Rum. Oh, I don't know, to be fair, but Lost Years is a UK brand. I very much doubt it's over your way, but I, I don't know. That'd be awesome if it is. It's coming out on Wednesday and it's phenomenal. It's blends. It's a blends of rum. It's such a good rum. All the three of them. Um, you can't, I've got a little diddy, little, little, little diddy bottle of the white hiding behind there as well. So we've got three of that. That's this week's rum show. Uh, Nick. Hello, Nick. What's Nick got? So it's got to that point in the evening where I can't be bothered to sort of uh, read the comments there. I'm just going to put them up on screen. Apologies. Gutting him. Oh, gutting and filleting from fish. Oh, what fish? Nick, what fish are you filleting tonight? Are you, are you, are you up in... Where are you? Why are you filleting fish? Where are you? you you're not in... Are you in Grimsby? You're not in Grimsby. Are you near coastal? Are you a fisherman? Gutting and filleting fish. Wow. What what fish? To let, bring us into your little fishy world. Right. Uh, da, 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 da. I wouldn't say I love Ray and Nephew. Uh, it's just what I use for a rum punch. Honestly, this stuff is amazing. And rum bar, even price-wise. So obviously Lost Years is a UK brand, so it's going to be expensive. But even rum bar, rum, space, bar, B-A-R, is um, Worthy Park's version of Ray and Nephew. So much better than Ray and Nephew. I've never loved Ray and Nephew, to be fair. But rum bar is phenomenal. Really good. Uh, corn and oil. That's what I was trying to think of. Yeah. Look, great. Look, Hendrix. Hendrix invented the cocktail. Did they, you hell? <laughs> uh, don't bruise it. Right, question. Here we go. We'll come back to it. Why would I use Velvet Falernum and not one of the various syrups? So Velvet Falernum. I see, I've had this chat. I'm a, I'm sort of I love change I I love I love change innovation I get it I love it I'm all about that oh crazy new stuff I'm all about it however I don't know where I sit with falernum syrups falernum is an alcoholic liqueur and I know ODK do it and I've, I've I keep finding it and then I keep losing it again and I found it again no I haven't uh, oh I have found it again have I got it. No, I've lost it again. I keep finding my my Falernum syrup, ODK, and then I keep losing it. I keep putting it to one side and it keeps going again. Um, I don't know how I feel about Falernum syrups. Falernum needs that little bit. It's not much, 
but it needs that little bit of alcohol, so like eleven percent ABV, so kind of like Pessoa sort of drink. But it's it's thinner, not as syrupy. And the ODK one, as nice as it is, is not proper philanum. So I've got two philanums here. Uh, this is actually so it's a German brand, bit of truth. But this is much more gingery, much more potent, but still got the limes, the almond, the cinnamon, the allspice, all that sort of stuff. But uh, is essentially kind of a ginger heavy uh, philanum. Whereas that, philanums are kind of native to most, Barbados is the famous one, J.D. Taylor's, but philanums are kind of native to most of the Caribbean islands. They all have their own sort of philanums. None of them really make syrups. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know where, and I know Monin do a philanum as well. I don't kind of know where my head sits with that. For me, nothing beats J.D. Taylor's velvet philanum. It's just a stunning, stunning, Liqueur, essentially, it is a syrup, but it's a liqueur. Um, and it, just when you make it in cocktails, there's no comparison because it is not as sweet as a syrup. Um, so yeah, it's that, that's just where it's just where my head is in that. It's 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 kind of it's a little bit citrusy, velvet for like proper phalanum. It's, it should be citrusy, like. So lime, essentially, but then almond notes. Um, some have got vanilla notes in there, but ginger, clove, allspice, all those kind of things going on, but not thick. I've never seen a proper philanum that's thick. The very first one I saw was ODK's. I was like, what the hell is that? Tastes great, but, yeah, I'm a, I don't know. I don't know where my head sits with it. Excuse me. Right, uh, I'm hoping. Da -da -da -da. I think it was Kay, was it or Laura? Wasn't there twenty percent on glasses the other day on one of the advent calendars? I'm sure there was. Kay, go and follow Drink Stuff at Drink Stuff on Instagram. I know your daughter set you up on Instagram. Go and stalk Drink Stuff on the old gram, um, and because they're doing not daily offers, but there's a few offers piping up here and now. I'm sure it was a twenty percent off glasses the other day. I might have been wrong. I don't know. Uh, da, 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 da. That, so they're probably not repeating it, but um, Laura, bully Laura, Laura, <laughs> oh, yeah. I've just seen this. Hey, <laughs> <Dick is cold. laughs> hey, hey, look, Alho, look, I, I started the whole banter stuff with 20% off, didn't I? STB 20, and lo, lo and behold, boss was watching uh, look, the owner of drink stuff, and he's like, Yeah, why can't why don't we do that? Why don't we? So let's start the campaign now. It's like Laura 50, Laura is said basically 50% off. Next week. Hey, I didn't say <laughs> that will never happen. That will never happen. There's things like margins that you have to work to, Alho, but I, I like your thought. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Uh, fill it in. Did I see Hampshire trout? Nice. Hampshire trout. Nick, are you down south, him? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, here we go. Right. What's that? We had 20% off. Oh, yeah. See, there we go. 20%. Right. Uh, <laughs> good luck. <at> that one. <laughs> um, who was that one? Uh, yeah, so Kay. Kay, get on Drink Stuff, right, on Instagram. I know you stalk me, uh, but stalk Drink Stuff as well. Uh, so at Drink Stuff. Everyone, at Drink Stuff. Uh, go on to their Instagram. They're doing um, like an advent calendar. Um, so basically different. It's not offers every day, but there's different stuff going on every day. Um, but I don't know, I've, I've, you know, they're coming fast and furious, so I haven't seen how many are offers and that. But I'm sure there'll be maybe one, maybe two more offers before Christmas. Who knows? Who knows? Just go and follow Drink Stuff, at Drink Stuff, on the old gram. Don't worry about TikTok on Faceache. Just go over to the old gram. Um, and that's assuming you're already, like, stalking our YouTube channel as well. So go and do that. Uh, right, Claire is... What? Where's Claire gone? She's eating. Claire's probably falling asleep. She's working in like two hours, isn't she? What's time? 10 o'clock, 11, 12, 1. No, about three or four hours. <laughs> Hello, it's tomorrow. Uh, right. So I think that is it. If anyone's got any... Um... No, I'm not making any more cocktails. Soja. Soja. I, you're not paying me enough. You, I've had no super stickers or whatever. <laughs> I'm joking. Don't, don't start that. Um, what are they called? Super chats. That's the word. I was very grateful. Mark gave me a super chat the other day. I'm very grateful for those, but that's not why I do these. I do these for the banter. I do these to see how many people I can wind up. That's why I do them. 
Um, and there we go. But if anyone's before Trevor, because I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I, I hate doing the whole my stuff. But if anyone's thinking about joining the actual membership community, then have a little road test in the Discord. Come to is to be live. Have I got a chat thing for it? Uh, I think I have caption. Right. Yeah. Right. Come and come and come and join us in the Discord. I'm a little bit in the open bit, but I mainly hang out in the members only stuff because there's, there's, you know, there's a lot of people want my attention, and you know, I've got to split myself a lot of ways. So I don't hang out too much in the old open bit of the Discord. I, I save myself for the pay, the people that pay for me. The pay, I'm basically, I'm basically like a male prostitute in there. <laughs> so, but yeah, just come out, come over, and I do, I do hang out in the open bit of the Discord. Of course, I do. Uh, come over to Discord, come have a little chat. We do, it's gone off the boil a little bit, but we do, we had like our first pre-live. So we were all live before. Uh, I say we were all, there's about seven of us, maybe, uh, live, chatting away like a Zoom uh, before we went live tonight. So come over there. There's all my exclusive content for um, like tastings and all that sort of stuff uh, that goes on in the membership community as well. There's my private recipes you'll get. I'm, I've got to give, uh, I've got to get around to doing it, but I'm going to finish off that cocktail book uh, that was sort of doing in June, July. So that will go in, into my private, into my members only Discord. But I am going to do a rum cocktail book. That is my mission for 2022. Georgie, if you're still watching, if you haven't fallen asleep, um, that is my, uh, that's why I can't see. There we go. Chat's back. Um, chat, there we go. I, oh, pretty. No, you don't. No, I was, oh, thank you very much, pretty. Thank you. There we go. Um, nice to have you back with us. I'm, I'm glad everything's kind of sorted back. Nice to be. Um, so yeah, Georgie, Georgie F, my, uh, my, uh, yes, I will be getting the rum cocktail book out at some point in 2022. Um, so that, that'll be a thing, but we're going to, we, we need to work. I'm going to bully cocktail book 2059. You cheat. <laughs> How old will I be in 2059? How many years from now is now? 30, 30. I'll be dead by then, surely. <laughs> <laughs> you cheat. I tell you what, it might be, to be fair. Um, I will get a leg ends. I will get your members one out because it's virtually done. It just doesn't look pretty at the moment. Not not pretty, pretty. Not that pretty, but uh, it just doesn't look aesthetically. God, look at that. Boy. I can see words. Do you know what? I filmed a video the other day and I couldn't say. There was another word I couldn't say. A really stupid, obvious word. And I couldn't say aesthetically pleasing. No problems. I can say that. But it's a really stupid word. I couldn't say. And I forget what it was now. But anyway, my cocktail book at the moment doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. So I need to kind of make it look a bit better. Otherwise, Georgie will be like, me, 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 me. You can't get that print out of, sort of thing. Sorry, Georgie. Uh, <laughs> so I'll get that done. But I am going to get a rum. I didn't bother. You know this story. I didn't bother with the cocktail book this year because I, I niched into rum. So there's no point. But the whole point is uh, we we drink stuff. We kind of need to get a cocktail book done as well. Um, so I'm going to try and work a bit over that on Christmas and a bit uh, there. So so you can maybe get the download stuff. We're going to try and do a bit more stuff with drink stuff and all that to get you guys. Uh, basically, what all we want is your email address so we can sell stuff to you on drink stuff. That's all we want. We don't care about cocktail books. Just give us your flipping email address so we can sell stuff to you. That's all it is. So just DM me with your email address. Job done. I don't have to make a cocktail book then, do I? <laughs> Uh, but no, we're going to be we're going to be tr trying to do a bit more content for you, um, coming like over over next year. I've got various ways of how I kind of was going to try and use YouTube at the community tabs, like I said earlier. Um, we'll see how that kind of works out as well. Um, but yeah, it's going to be fun, isn't it? It's going to be fun. What? Oh, there's no, no, it wasn't that word. I, I don't even know what that means. What word means? I, I remember that word, but I don't know what it means, so I wouldn't have used that. It was a really stupid word. I can't think what the word was. Just a word, an everyday word, and I couldn't say it. it took me like five attempts. It's a rum show. It took me like five five attempts to say the flipping thing. But aesthetically, well, yeah, I can rock that out of the park. Easy, easy. <laughs> right. Uh, drink stuff, cocktail book uh, would work well for them. There is one. It's just not a PDF downloadable, so we kind of need to turn that into that. But, you, you know, we'll put fun... There's, I think there's going to be, we kind of need to look at ways where we can, basically we can get get your cocktail, get get your email address every few weeks. 
<laughs> for new stuff. Download our stuff. Buy our stuff. Uh, so we'll kind of work on that. That's fine. Uh, make people buy the ingredients. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's question. No, it's all right. It's all right. It's, 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 level, it's level one. It's level, maybe that's a bit harsh. I don't know how many levels we've got. Where did we go up to? If we, say, if we go up to level three, it's a level one. If we go up to level five, it might be a level 1.5. We should say, but we kind of, we'll get some. Basically, we just want your email addresses. So there we go. And people are saying bye to Anne. Is Anne, what's Anne going? Where's Anne going? Anne, it's like two o'clock in the afternoon, yeah? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, hang on. We like this. We're filling drink stuff. Which morning should? Oh, I tell you what, right? Geordie's Broadies. I've got, because uh, I've got a bit of morning stash here. Uh, hang on. Right. I, oh, oh, I can't get it. It's over there. The tangerine. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. This might cause. Kick that out of the way. Right. Hang on. Right. Uh, what else have we got? Right. Hang on, Geordie's Broadies. I'm, I'm right with you. If, if everything dies, it's because I've killed my laptop. There we go. No, I've done it. Right. My top tips. I've done a flipping lot of content with that, um, which is still rocking out on the Drink Stuff channel. I flipping love this stuff. I won't lie. I, give, I gave Mummy Barman a little taste of that on a spoon. And she was like, we both thought, oh, ham. You know, cooked ham Christmas. That works amazingly with cooked ham. Um, damn, whatever you want to call it. So that's, that's really good. So that I would... I would highly recommend that stuff. Is it listed? I don't know. I'm not sure if that's listed. If if not, right? This is the one that we were playing about with Lee on the um, that I've fallen in love with. That I've been having a few coffees uh, with that, and I did uh, a daiquiri with that as well. That's really nice. So winter spice. Can you see all the spices in there? If someone knows what this is, and that is. Help me out, because I've got no idea what they are. But essentially, we've got um, cinnamon, clove, ginger, um, chili. There's something else missing there. Uh, what's that? Nutmeg. But I don't know what they are. So if anyone knows what those two plants are, let me know. And I had to go, I stole this out of the studio as well the other day, because I was making, that is flipping. I love, it's a fun syrup. That is proper fun. Pina colada. Pineapple and coconut syrup, that is proper fun. Um, but yeah, there's loads of stuff. I We're going to be doing a lot more with um, Monin over over the next coming months. You've seen, if you've been on my community tabs, both Drink Stuff and um, uh, my own feed, you all have seen that people are going crazy, smash, for the ODK stuff. Uh, weirdly, um, do you know what the flavour that won? So many people want pear. So pear is going to be one of the first flavours that I rock out. So the pear stuff. Um, I have banana stuff. Uh, I love the banana. Yuzu. Yuzu's great. Uh, yuzu. I'm throwing yuzu grenades. That's a cocktail I've got coming out between Christmas and New Year. Uh, so we're rocking now. Stuff like that. Fun and fruity stuff. This is where my focus is going to be. With, when I talk about the community tabs, this is what I mean. Because if I do a video, so if I do two videos where I've got like two cocktails for this, you know, you've bought the whole thing and you've still got loads left. So what I'm intended to do is come up with like six, maybe seven cocktails for each syrup, but then post the recipes on the community tab or maybe put them behind an email gateway. <laughs> if you want this week's recipes, email us. <laughs> there's, there's ways and means, there's ways and means. But yeah, so anything like that, whoever that is, Geordie's. You know, the fun stuff. And papaya. I think the papaya's, I don't know, papaya's right here. I mean, obviously, you want, you want the coconut. Oh, that's empty. I need new coconut. Uh, but like the papaya as well, they're, they're just really, really good stuff. And I love, I, I love the, the ODK stuff is the first stuff that I've been playing about with. I've had a lot of the stuff now. I've been using it for a good couple of years. I do love it bits. Um, that's not me saying it's better than Monin. It, this is just really my first interaction with a Monin puree, essentially. Um, I, yes, we had the strawberry one, but Boss Man Paul uh, kind of stole that. So I, I've had no interaction with it after the live show. Um, so this is the first one that's been opened that we're going to have like just see how it keeps over a few months um, and just go from there. We're going to be using it from time to time. It's great this time of year. As I say, ham, 
Put it on your ham, cooked ham. Oh, it's really good. But I'm not actually sure if that's listed yet. Laura's probably already answered me down in the, the chat because I can see the chat's halfway up at the moment. But uh, So I better scroll down. <laughs> She's probably going, it's not in stock, it's not in stock. Uh, right, uh, Trevor, for a five for a month, you can talk to me. <laughs> yeah. Joy, oh, that should be the marketing thing, should it? That should be it. For five pounds a month, come and join Trevor. It's not me, it's Trevor. Come and chat to Trevor. <laughs> That's it. Don't worry about me. I'm, I'm just like an added bonus. Come and chat to Trevor. <laughs> right. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Uh, scrolling, scrolling down. Oh, these chats were like flipping ages ago, weren't they? Uh, hey, Plax Cocktails, how are you? Hang on, what's this? Shaky. What's that? Oh! Uh, oh! Oh! Wait, it's Shaky the mascot. Oh, hang on a minute. If I can swap brands, I'm not sure if I can swap brands. Oh, if, if, it, if this all goes funny, I'm really sorry. <laughs> We're now in the drink stuff happy hour. Right, hang on a minute, which means I've got access to this. For those of you that don't know what, um, who is that Kevin is talking about? Does that mean the chat's gone? No, the chat's still there. Right. If those of you don't know what um, Kevin is talking about, ta -da! look at that. So this is drink stuff. I've forgotten all about this. I just thought that was another thing that Laura hadn't bothered to, to do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm in a wind up mood. Um, but no, this is um, this is shaky. Is that what we settled on? Shaky. I didn't know that. So this is shaky. Look, uh, and the ask the ask view. Now this is the ask view. There we go. Look. So this is the little drink stuff mascot. There we go. Look at that. It's really cool, isn't it? It's really cool. Like that. Dun, 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 dun. So this is what you'll see if you if you ask nicely. I mean, I'm expecting road trips and, and God knows what and sent in the post. I don't know what's going to happen with old Shaky next year, but we shall see. Right, I have to swap back to STB now. There we go. Oh, STB live. There we go. We're back. So we had the bit of drink stuff. Now we're back. Right, chat. Chat. Come on, chat. There we go. Right. Uh, da, 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 da. Listed but not arrived. Uh, I cooked a roast ham tonight. Nice. See? Roast ham with that. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Trevor, what's this? The bin. They're just plants. Love decorations. Yeah, no, look, Trevor, 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 Trevor. Don't, don't, don't try and be a know it all, young Trevor. Look, look, look. So the pina colada one has got the leaves from a pineapple. And uh, that's what, oh, no, wrong side. That's what coconuts look like, don't it, on the tree. That's the, the thingies up there. That, they're actually, Molly and I are very clever. They do actually put the stuff on the labels that is actually in, hang on, let me get, I can prove this. They don't just put random things on the, uh, on the labels. Let's get the passion fruit one out there. Right, so this is a passion flower. For those of you that have never seen a passion flower, look, that's the passion flower. There we go, you see? There, like that. They don't put random stuff on labels. It is the passion flower. What else have we got up here? Uh, the, the, oh, smash. Uh, hibiscus. Look at this, look. Monin's hibiscus. Look at this, look. See? Hibis hibiscus flowers, look. Look, 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 look. See, look. Trevor. Oh, I don't know. God, you let him loose. You let him loose for like five minutes. Right. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> They're not decorations. They are, I promise you, they are actually something that's in that bottle, but I have no idea what it is. Whether it's the, a nutmeg flower or a chili, I don't know. I, I generally have no idea. Uh, cheers, Victor. Good night, my friend. I know you've already gone. That's probably fine because that was about 10 minutes ago. Uh, pina colada syrup, Georgie. None of those for Tiki. What, what, what? Georgie. Does George, is Georgie said something? Where's Georgie? Trevor's answering Georgie. I don't know what Trevor's answering, but there we go. Uh, I don't know. None of those four tiki. What's that? Who? What, what's that? Georgie, none of those four tiki, however. Why Why not? What's tiki? Where's Georgie? What's, what's going on? Where, there's got to be a question here about tiki or something. 
don't know. Oh, is that it? No, it's Geordie's. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that's responding to, but there we go. Yummy Yuzu. I love that Yuzu. Yuzu is amazing. Pear is amazing. Trevor, I still have my bottle of Yuzu syrup for months. Haven't opened it yet. Going to try it in a snowball. Oh, oh, Yuzu snowballs. Oh, hello. That's a bit next level, isn't it? <gasps> I, might, I might have to film that for drink stuff. It should be a bottle of Africa in the fridge over there. Oh, that's a bit potential, isn't it? A Yuzu snowball. <gasps> Laura, you better make sure the Yuzu's in stock. <laughs> if not, bully Lorraine. Uh, Alan. Hello, Alan. Uh, what should be my Christmas present to myself for that would be a good rum cocktails? Go spiced or plain, pick me one, please. Um, Christmas present, it's got to be a bit special, isn't it? You don't want any run of the mill sort of stuff. So, I, right, so I have, uh, come here. I filmed, this is the brand spanking new Cherry Bomb, right? Uh, it's not, lit, uh, it might be filtering out in shops and online. Well, online, it might be filtering out next week. It should be, knowing Hursty. This is so different. So, all right, so 57%. 57%, look at that. Or, or for you foreigners, 114 proof, right? So that, I don't know if you can see that on the background. Let's have a look. Can we see that? Black cherry, almonds, salted caramel, and spices. Panamanian rum. Look at that. So that's that cherry bomb. Now, the big difference between that and the... Do you know what? I flipping love this. Do you know what? Filming yesterday, I've got a newfound love for this. I absolutely love that. Uh, but completely forgot about it. It's great. It's grapefruit. Sorry, in case you can't read it. Grapefruit grenade. Uh... 130 proof. Where's the ABV? There, down there. Look. So, ABV, 65% ABV. Oh, Guyana rum, so De Demerara Distillers Limited. But look at that, honeycomb. I, I flipping love this, the grapefruit grenade. I really do. I, I love all the Hurst. Look, the rum show that's coming out on the week before Christmas, 23rd, I think it is. The rum show is dedicated to the grenades and the uh, the bombs, so the banana bomb and cherry bomb, um, and the passion fruit, grapefruit, and pineapple grenades. I flipping love them. Uh, it's obviously the same brand as the two swallows. The two swallows is the the cheaper stuff. So something a bit special. Um, yes, you could go normal rum, but I've got a sneaky suspicion spiced flavored rums. These are spiced rums, but they're flavoured spiced rums. We put a little cheeky smile on your face. Um, I might, I might, I see who's in on Wednesday. Um, Laura, I, I'll bring, I'll bring, I'll give you a little cheeky little try of this on Wednesday. I'll bring, re, remind me Tuesday night in on Teams, and I'll, uh, I'll pack a little bit of these. Um, because these are, these are a little bit fun. Oh, it's a slide dog on the floor. So yeah, I, I would do something that's a bit different, isn't it? A bit different, a bit of fun. The cherry bomb. The cherry bomb is completely different to the two swallows cherry. Two swallows cherry is like cherry with a bit of spice. The cherry bomb is black cherry, almonds. Um, the spice that is it's really, really good. So that's the 20 rum show on the 23rd. Uh, cool, more ODK purees. What's all this Vask is this is this some random bot? It's, it's Vask, Caroline, it, like we've got three or four now, Vask Tech. If I now hit the states where I'm getting like all these like randoms, is that what it is? Monin Vanilla has a vanilla bean, has it? I haven't got Monin Vanilla. I've just got George. George, George's vanilla has got, oh no, it's got, yeah, sorry. Oh, that's very clever. I hadn't noticed that, look. George's, George's has got like little vanilla. I thought they were umbrellas. They're not umbrellas, look, it's the vanilla. The vanilla pod and the flower, vanilla flower. Can we see that? Look at that. Yeah, good old George. Never to be outdone by Monin. <laughs> I haven't got Monin's uh, vanilla here. There we go, right. Uh, cinnamon, oh. Oh, potential cinnamon tree and a cinnamon plant. Oh, I don't know. 
Good shout. I know it's something to do with it, but I don't know what. Uh, the US TV, Steve the bot bot Botanist. <laughs> uh, Jordi asked about Pure for Tiki. You pulled out Pear and Yuzu. Pear, why would Pear and Yuzu not be Tiki? Hey, look. For, for, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Which one is it? Uh, it's, it's not that one. It's this one, surely. Flipping. Yeah, Lynn. Flipping Yuzu features heavily in that. Flipping heavily and flipping cucumber in this. Look, the straight and keep well, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where did he do, 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 do? So, all right, so you've got, where did, oh, I've, I've lost the page now. Where'd it go? Oh, look, see that? Look, look at that now. See, Ki, I, he's not pulled out pear in there, but there we go. Look, kiwi, kiwi kaipurinia, look at that. Oh, hang on, where's my camera? Oh, that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? That's not a kiwi caipirinha. It's just a bowl of kiwi fruits. But look, see that book there? It's got lots of uh, it's got lots of yuzu in there as well. Don't, Jordy's don't don't listen to Trevor. He don't know what he's. I tell you what, you're going to be if you pay five pounds a month to join my Discord to chat to him, you're going to be a bit disappointed, isn't you? Oh, flipping hell! It's a good job I'm. It's a good job I'm here to babysit him, put him right. <laughs> Uh, oh, Trevor, I've done a little waffle to you Canadians in, I think I think it'll be the 23rd to rum show. I've done a little waffle for you. I'm going to sort you. I'm going to sort you out. <laughs> Stop this out code. It's, it's uh, TR50. <laughs> I'm going to have to go in a minute. Look at the time. What's the time? Can't it's past my bedtime, isn't it? All right, what's going on here? Uh, I'm assuming a code named after you rather than a discount code for you. Oh, I don't know. Right, uh, fast tech. <laughs> fast tech. <laughs> oh, that's genius. Fast tech. Veritas. Fast tech. Very. Very test, fast tech. <laughs> that's brilliant. I lo see. I, lo I love shows where I've got a little bit of a theme. But it's more about the banter. It's, it's great, isn't it? What banana rum would you... Oh, Amber, don't... Oh, Amber, Amber. The best video to go and watch, right? Go onto my channel. Uh, scroll back to about end of July, August. You'll see the photo of Dead Man's Fingers banana, right? It's a, it's a video. Five banana cocktails. Five. Five. Five banana cocktails. Uh, it's a picture of Dead Man's Fingers. And, I've, and I open the video and I say, uh, coming up in this video, we've got five cocktails with uh, banana rum, but we're not using this shite. <laughs> we are using this. Amber, if you trust me for one thing in your, in, in your life, Amber, Amber, hello, Amber, one thing, just trust me for one thing, that. And, and Hursty is not paying me to, to say that, I promise you, promise you, Amber, that. Banana bomb, look, it's proper, look, 57%, 114 proof, look, for the Americans, look, translated, banana bomb, look at that, look, that's what you want, hands down, the best, look, 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 look. hang on, let's focus, Mary's banana, salted caramel, spices, Panamanian rum, look, 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 proper, it is proper, proper, none of this, none of this dead man's fingers malarkey, none of that, ignore that, definitely don't get that Hoxton stuff, I've still got half a bottle. It's disgusting. Don't do the Hoxton. You want that, all right? That's what you want. Amber. Amber. Banana bomb, all right? So, yes. Uh, so that answers that, that question. Banana banana bomb all the way. <sighs> Done that. Baking syrup. Do you know what, Pretty? I've forgotten all about that baking syrup until you piped up today. <laughs> That's been happily resting in peace for like the last sort of three months. <laughs> Right, there must be a flower app to identify flowers, blah, blah, blah. We have a rose called Tiki Twist. Well, that's what I mean. Smuggler's Cove is a bit. We've already debunked half of Smuggler's Cove, saying like reenacting or sorry, reevaluating their recipes because they're all out of sync. You know, so Smuggler's Cove, Smuggler's Cove is a good base, but come on, Steve, Steve the Barman, don't we do it better, don't we, over here? Come on, we, we, we make cocktails proper, not like Smuggler's Cove. <laughs> right. How what? How are you gonna ask for money and then tell people pair puree? What's wrong with pair puree? Hey, the, the masses 
Trevor, see, this is how out of touch you are, young Trevor. Go to my community feeds or drink stuffs. I'm not sure which one it was on now. Might have been drink stuffs. Go to either of our community feeds and look at the votes. The people have spoken. I'm not just talking one or two votes either. I'm talking multiple tens, not quite the hundreds, but multiple tens of votes and pair one. So young Trevor Rose, don't come up with this in pear. Pear is one of the best flavours. All right, pipe, pipe that F down. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, hang on. Right, pretty. Right, 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 right. Bring the spice has ginger on the left. Yeah, but, but yeah, but pretty. We, right, pretty, pretty, pretty. Right, we, we, we know that. Right, we've got the, so to debunk that, we know that as ginger, yeah, cinnamon, yeah, we get that, chili, clove, nutmeg. Hang on, oh, I'm back to front of my finger, and my, right there. Pretty, what we want to know is, what's this? And what's that? That's what we want to know. That and that. All right, so we know that's ginger. Excuse my fingers. Ginger, cinnamon, chili, clove, more ginger, more cinnamon, nutmeg. We know that, but what's that? And that. That's what we want to know. I'm assuming they're the flowers of one of those spices, but I don't know. Right. Right, it's, surely it's got to be time for my Trevor. <laughs> Trevor. Where is Trevor number two? I haven't seen Trevor number two for ages. I'm, I'm hoping he's all right. He's just busy. Trevor two for 20, Trevor one for where he is, right. Yeah, the biggest, the biggest viewed uh, live show we had was when you weren't here. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, I, I don't know. I hope, I hope Trevor's, um, I hope uh, Trevor number two is all right. I've, I did see him comment like a couple of times, um, but I hope he's all right. Trevor number two, if you do watch his bank, say hello. Make sure, just let us know you are alive and well. Um, yes. That's what we want to do. That correct answer, young Amber. Correct answer. Uh, Anne, I thought you were going to bed. What? What's this? Hang on. Hang on. What? 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 It's on DS, the Gin Channel. Rum guy. He calls himself now. What? I don't know what. Else. Trevor's trying to give banter. I, I don't know. I don't know what. I, everyone else. I'm really sorry about Trevor. Just ignoring me. I think I don't know what. It's, I don't know. I'm just going to start calling him Nathan from now on, I think. <laughs> right. Anne, Anne, I thought you went to bed at like two o'clock in the afternoon. What's going on? The plant on the side of the pina colada syrup, the plant is... Oh, I know. Plant stacks up in the pink. What? The plant... She's gone again. The plant on the side of the pina colada syrup is... Is bromeliads, it's pineapple farm family, so that, right? The plant that is stacked up and pink. That. Yeah, okay. We knew that! What's that? <laughs> <laughs> right, I, I'm going to bed in a minute. Uh, hide. Right, Trevor. This live's gone, it went off the rails at half past nine for flip's sake. You know, it's like an hour later. <laughs> Great show. Thanks. Good giggle. I'm off to watch Match of the Day 2. I wouldn't bother. There's, I've seen the goals. They're pretty dull, to be fair. Uh, pretty, the plant on the left. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Possibly nutmeg. Oh, hang on. Anne, right. So Anne has just put the wrong syrup. So what Anne is saying, this one here, on the winter syrup, Anne, who is still, who is secretly still with us, even though she's saying she's disappearing. Right, Anne is saying, that one, oh, my finger's back to front. This one here is a bromeliad. I've said that completely wrong. It's the pineapple family. Interesting, really? That, okay. What it's doing on the winter spice syrup, I have no idea, but perhaps there might be some sort of pineapple in here. <laughs> <laughs> who knows anyway on that note thank you all very much for watching uh, da -da. 
We love good banter with no plan. That's what it is. You know, Trevor comes up with all these themes. You kind of have, you kind of have to humor Trevor, don't you? You kind of have to go, yeah, we'll do that, Trevor. All right, we'll do that. You kind of satisfy him for an hour and then you just go do your own thing, don't you? <laughs> so, Trevor, what are we what are we do? Look, to be fair, look, to be fair, if it weren't for Trevor, there would be no themes for these shows. It's all it's all Trevor. For all of you that are still watching, all these themes, it's always Trevor. Like nine, nine shows out of ten is always down to Trevor. So you've got Trevor to thank. Not me. I just like, I'm just a pretty face that hosts the show. You know, Trevor's the brains of the operation. Um, so, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm off to visit STB2. <laughs> so, right. So, uh, on that note, thank you very much for watching. Uh, enjoy your Sunday nights. Next week's show is Christmas cocktails, if I'm not mistaken, Trevor. I haven't planned them, I've got no idea what we're doing. Um, but I'm sure Trevor will pipe up with a few recipes through the week, so we'll be doing that. <laughs> look at him! Look, look at him trying to uh, trying to make himself look. Look at him! Don't suck up! Don't go, Trevor! Don't go! Please don't go! You threatened that before, and you still stayed. Tre That's what we all say. Look, I love STB. I love STB 2.0. He's a good friend. I've loved him for a lot of years. I've known him. I've known him for a lot longer than most of you guys have known him. I've got a lot of love for him. He is STB number two for a reason. You know, he's better looking, although Claire will, Claire will kind of, and Pretty will kind of obviously come. No, he's not. Steve's better looking. Uh, me, obviously. Because uh, I'm a fan, they're my stalkers. Uh, but he, he's better looking. He's like another two foot taller, so he'd have to crouch down like that on a live show because he's like seven foot something up here. Uh, but he hasn't got a banter, has he? Let's be honest. I, I, I tell it to his face. He's not got a banter. He's not got the STB 1.0 banter, has he? So he's good. He's got the cheeky little smile, but he's not got a banter, has he? You, you come here for the bants. <laughs> right. <laughs> Christmas cocktails. There we go. Right, he's finally piped up. Uh, Christmas cocktails next Sunday. Already have the cocktails. Fine. Whack them in the Discord and we'll make them. Right, on that note, I don't know whether I can... <laughs> on that note, hey, I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> How do I make that bigger? Do I do that one? I don't. I don't believe. Oh, wrong way, isn't it? That way. I don't believe it. <laughs> right. Uh, thanks for coming, you guys. For those that are still on, uh, let's turn that off behind there. I will see you through the week. Um, I have no idea what video is coming out on Tuesday. Uh, all I know is the rum show on Thursday is Lost Years because that was filmed a couple of weeks ago. So it has to be Lost Years rum on Thursday. And then I know what's coming out on Saturday, the spiced rum. That is another pusses, but it's the passion and pain. So Tuesday, no idea at all. Rum Manhattan, maybe? Apricot Manhattan? No, that can't be. That must be next week. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Pretty. Look, there we go. Look. Uh, Amber P. Uh, Andy B, who's still on. There's loads of you still on, Night Crew. Loads of you still on. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. I've I've now got to wash up because I haven't got more wash tabs here, innit? So I might just leave it. I might just leave it till tomorrow. Who knows? Let's just leave it like this. Health and safety and all that. Don't know. Right. Thanks for coming. Have a good uh, week, and I will see you. Uh, I will see you next weekend. Toodaloo. How do we end this thing? <laughs> like that. Like this.